cutback. Here goes Nicholson. Now he's gone. A wonderful cutback. He's going to take it all the way to the house. 60 yards. TV run for Nicholson. 3-10-5. Touchdown. touchdown. What a play. Nice adjustment. Great move. Great play you. call, yeah. coach. And That's a great nice play. Nice to win. Nap on the quarterback keeper on the right side. Titus will wow. win. Wow. Haven't done that all <laughs> night long. <laughs> And good evening and welcome to Titusville Rocket Football. Tonight, the 1 and 3 Dragons take on the 0 and 5 Titusville Rockets. And if you think Warren's record doesn't add up to 5, you're right. We'll tell you about that coming up in just a minute. Right now, we want to thank our sponsors for allowing us to be here. Jim's trying to figure that out. 1 and 3 doesn't add up to 5. Uh, Rocket Football brought to you by Anderson Physical Therapy, by the Barking Lot, by the Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home by Interstate Pipe and Supply, by Armstrong, by Oil Creek Plastics, by Community Connect Federal Credit Union, by Dr. Timothy Brooks, by Pennsylvania Hardwoods, by State Farm Insurance, by True Value Hardware, by Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning, by the Meadville Medical Center, Titus Valeria Hospital, by Larry's Auto Service, by Boonies, by the Colonial Machine Company, by Corky's Pizza, and by the Titusville Beverage. Week six of high school football, and we welcome you into the Larry's Auto Service Colonial Machine Company pregame show, and let's bring in the entire crew here. We've got Jim Bodemer, Steve Bodemer, Bill McCrillis, and Dave Bodemer with us here tonight. Camera operators include Adam Bodemer, and Nolan Rio. Guys, welcome to week six of high school football. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. We might be going down to Bill sooner well, rather than just later. Just to explain to our audience, uh, I had something I wanted to say a couple minutes ago, and he wouldn't turn my mic on. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, welcome to Carter Field. It's the uh, big night here, uh, Steve and Dave. This is the final home game on the grass at Carter Field. We are coming in, I was thinking... Uh, would have been appropriate had we been able to get a hold of our athletic director, somebody, and wet this field down. Because the last time I remember playing Warren, it was a mud bath, and uh, it was, I mean, a big time mud 2006. bath. 2006. I mean, 2006. Yeah, yeah some years ago. Here, yeah. yeah. But anyway, it's a very, very nice night, and uh, we're glad you're all with us. It's going to be a good ball game. One and three, uh, the Warren Dragons. They beat Franklin, and, um, and they come in against our Rockets, uh, who are winless. So. Uh, Titus was going to have to uh, pull some things together tonight if they want to pull this ball game out, uh, mainly get some offense consistency and some good line plays, Steve, if they're going to get anything in here against the Warren Dragons tonight. Well, I think what Titus has got to concentrate on is winning the battle up front. We've got to get some push defensively with our defensive linemen. Offensively, we've got to get some holes open. We've got to get a ground game going because the ground game is going to set up our passing attack. And uh, we got a little bit of a view of what we can do in that short passing game against Oil City last week. Uh, this week, though, we've got to get things established on the ground before we can try to get things opened up in the air. Well, they're going to have to battle against uh, Alan McAllister. He's the uh, six foot two forty tackle. Uh, on the other side, they've got a guard, a, a Sears, Cyrus Sears, about 290, and another tackle, about 225. So there's a, a balance there in terms of the line. But Titusville comes in with an average line of about 235. So uh, that trench battle tonight is going to be very, very critical. Well, we didn't get a chance to sit down with Coach Baldwin this week. Uh, there's a lot of activities taking place here at Carter Field, including homecoming for the students last night. And uh, we're going to bring you the queen crowning next in place of our sit down with Coach Baldwin. So we'll have that for you when we return here this evening. It is the Dragons and the Rockets here at uh, Carter Field. This is the... Larry's Auto Service, Colonial Machine Company pregame show. Pregame will continue right after this. When it comes to your rehabilitation needs, you have a say in the kind of care you want to receive. At Anderson Physical Therapy, we are committed to your long-term health and well-being. We don't treat you like a patient. We treat you like a person discussing your injury or condition and working with you on a game plan to get you back to better health. So stay on top of your game with a friendly and knowledgeable therapist at Anderson Physical Therapy. 
Pennsylvania Hardwoods, a worldwide supplier of high-quality logs and lumber, is a proud sponsor of the Titusville Rockets. Located along Titusville Road in Pleasantville, Pennsylvania Hardwoods purchases standing timber and logs and some of the world's highest quality hardwood, which is growing right in your backyard. For a free appraisal, call Pennsylvania Hardwoods at 814-590-6730. Best of luck to the Titusville Rockets from Pennsylvania Hardwoods. Since 1965, the Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home has been dedicated to serving Titusville and surrounding communities. Mr. Garrett believed in tradition and commitment to excellence, standards that are still held to this day. He also believed in community and making Titusville the best place to live, work, and play. When you need us, we will be there for you, providing a dignified service at fair prices. This has been our foundation for 55 years. The Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home, 303 North Washington Street, Titusville. Well, welcome back to Carter Field. We mentioned last night was the uh, scene of uh, Titusville homecoming and the crowning of your homecoming queen. Here's a little bit from those festivities last evening. Before we crown the 2020 Homecoming Queen, we need to recognize the Homecoming Honoree. 2020 Homecoming Honoree is Uriah Sampson. This year's honoree is an alumnus who graduated in 1998. He then went to Edinburgh University where he earned his Bachelor of Fine Arts and his Master's Degree in Middle and Secondary Education. He joined the staff of Titusville High School in 2002 and has served as a co-yearbook advisor, advisor for the senior video show, assistant baseball coach, and has helped construct numerous proms and homecoming floats. In 2019, he made THS proud as a Pennsylvania Teacher of the Year finalist. Outside of school, he owns and operates his own photography studio and coaches rec soccer, as well as assists with the Crawford County Special Olympics bowling and floor hockey. He and his wife, Jackie, are proud parents of three children, Kaylee, Jason, and Gracie, and enjoy traveling and attending area sporting and musical events. Please join us in honoring Mr. Uriah Sampson for all he does for our school and our community. Ladies and gentlemen, please your, turn your attention to midfield for the moment everyone has been waiting. The members of the senior class have selected six young ladies of the 2020 homecoming court. Tonight, Seth Brooks escorts Taylor Kowalsik, daughter of Stephen and Stacy Kowalsik. Trey Kerbin follows with McKenna Marvin. McKenna is the daughter of Heidi Schweitzer and Steve Marvin. Our third escort, Ian Tudor, brings Sophia McGill to the stand. Sophia is the daughter of Curtis and Tammy Gilson and Travis McGill. brings Ms. Aubriana Sampson to the stand. Aubriana is the daughter of Doug and Tony Marie Sampson. Our fifth escort, Brody Minemeyer, escorts Shay Titus. Shay is the daughter of Steve and Julie Titus. Joseph Banner escorts Miss Brooklyn Wakefield, daughter of Amanda and Michael Wakefield, and Russell Signs. It is time to announce our 2020 Titusville Homecoming Queen. At this time, we would like to introduce our former queen, Miss Carolyn Murphy, escorted by Zach Abrams.
This week, the high school student body selected one of these six ladies to represent them at tonight's festivities. Congratulations to this year's homecoming queen, Miss... May I have a drum roll, please? Shay Titus. The THS marching band is playing THS, the school fight song. Rockets are hosting the Dragons here tonight, and our coverage will continue when we come back. We're going to check that weather forecast, and we'll go down to the field and check in with Mr. Bill McCrillis. Passionate experts at Titusville Area Hospital Orthopedics will provide. Whether you're experiencing aches and pains or have suffered from significant injury, we are here for you. Board certified orthopedic surgeon Michael Dvorkin is highly experienced in treating all orthopedic and sports medicine conditions. No matter what the treatment may be, you can trust that we'll be here for you every step of the way, helping you get back to the life you enjoy. Learn more about our exceptional orthopedic care at titusvillehospital.org. Fall and football go hand in hand, just like yards and the products made by steel. At Titusville True Value, we offer a full selection of steel chainsaws, pole saws, leaf blowers, weed eaters, and hedge trimmers to prepare your yard for fun this fall. So get the full lineup of Steel's equipment so the chores are out of the way so you can go out to play. Steel, available now at your Titusville True Value. Behind every good project is your Titusville True Value. Whoever said, it's only a dog, never loved a dog. Our philosophy is simple. We treat every dog as if it were our own. And believe us, we spoil our dogs. When dogs are comfortable, they're happy. The Barking Lot in Titusville is ready to make your dog happy by offering grooming services, daycare, and boarding. Call today to schedule an appointment, or better yet, stop in and discover a stranger, crazier, quirkier group of dog lovers at the Barking Lot in Titusville. Hey, welcome back to the Larry's Auto Service Colonial Machine Company pregame show. Well, Jim, another uh, nice night. Talked about the rain last night, but no rain tonight. No, it's uh, really quite nice. It's a clear night. Temperature about 46 degrees game time. Not supposed to rain, uh, unfortunately. Uh, northwest winds about five miles an hour. So uh, uh, we talked a little bit about um, the weather conditions here a few years back, Steve, at 2006, I think you mentioned. And uh, we played the Warren Dragons, and uh, uh, it's too bad because Bill McCrill is down the field, and if it was like it was in 2006, it would be fun to watch Bill whooping down the field. But it's pretty dry down there right now tonight, isn't it, Bill? Oh, yeah, it's really dry. It's nice, though. It's, uh, <laughs> we're not used to this, Jim. <laughs> We've had all the good nights the whole uh, six games uh, get down so in far. Here, get down to where I am in the trenches right here where there should be. It's uh, it's nice and dry, beautiful. Now, do you remember 2006? Oh yeah, the Mud Bowl, and uh, uh, that was quite a battle. I remember the uh, end of the ball game, all the seniors coming out and diving head first into the mud out in the middle of the field. But this place was an absolute mess. Uh, we had had rain the whole week, and uh, uh, Warren really, <laughs> we all had their hands full trying to play in that mud that night. <laughs> I think I think you cut them down yesterday, Jim, and turned the water sprinklers on. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you know, Bill, with the, the amount of rain we did get yesterday, what, what are you discovering down there? It's nice, really nice. Uh, I'm going to hate to see it go. <laughs> I almost thought about just laying down here in the grass and rolling around, but I'm not going to do it. I won't we're, be able to get back up. You're hoping you would. Yeah, yeah we we're going to film that. <laughs> Dave's willing to go down and do that, right, Dave? Yeah. Come on, Dave. Sure, we'll do that. Well, it's uh, it's the last night. Uh, for those of you from Warren who are watching, uh, uh, this is the last evening that we'll play on grass at Carter Field. The Bulldogs will be coming in here the first of the month, and uh, by next season, we'll be having a turf field in here. Things will be changed around quite a little bit, but uh, we'll still have the 
that classic look of Carter Field, the overhead cover on our grandstands and uh, still be able to seat probably three, 4,000 people and uh, should be really quite nice. But uh, for us old people, it's kind of nostalgic uh, to see the grass go. I like grass football. Uh-huh. <laughs> Steve's going to be full of a lot of comments tonight, David, so hang in there because we might need you. This this will be your first. (laughs) Well, Steve spent a lot of time in the grass because he got tackled a lot. How many sacks? I, boy, I don't know. How Some, many light bulbs do we have here? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it was uh, it was tough to count so every once in a while. I mean, I remember it wasn't here, but it was at uh, Greenville. <laughs> and uh, I spent a lot of time on the turf that night, I'll guarantee you that. About 45 we, minutes before the how many How many light up. bulbs they got down there? <laughs> I don't know. They got enough it looked like a sun because I told him it was a Saturday morning game and it was Friday night. That's how hard I got hit. I remember that very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Explains a lot. We the funny part of it is, David, I was brought, I broadcast from WTF at the time, and I was laughing then like I am now. <laughs> My yeah, but I was home with Mom, and she wasn't laughing. No, You'll not. never listen to see the same way ever again. <laughs> You've be... never been the same. Yeah. I, I can remember. I, I remember opening my eyes. I remember. Uh, Is that before coach, the game or after? <laughs> during. And uh, looking up, and I could see uh, then coach slash trainer George Roberts, uh, who went on to uh, be a trainer for uh, the Olympic team in yeah. 1980. But him and another gentleman looking down at me, and uh, they asked me three questions, and I went 0 for 3. <laughs> and uh, the one guy who I didn't know looked at George and said, I think he's done. Yeah. <laughs> you probably still go for three on those questions, though. Huh? Yeah. I probably I would. Mean, let's be honest. Hey, listen, two plus two is not as easy as it sounds. Hey, you well, are done. <laughs> well, it's no wonder I had trouble with one and three yeah. getting to five tonight, see? Yes. Somebody, actually, several people thought this was a good idea last week. I, <laughs> so, I'm sorry about that. Oh, folks, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, speaking of those tie-ins with coaching and history, uh, there's a tie-in with the Warren coach and Titusville program. Yeah. We're going to get into that in just a moment. Uh, we're also going to look at uh, the Warren team and the Titusville team and some things that uh, to look out for here tonight as the uh, band comes out on the field. We'll in continue. other words, we're going to get serious here in a minute. Oh, that's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> at this point. I, w- I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot to discuss tonight. <laughs> oh, uh, wonderful. This is the Larry's Auto Service Colonial Machine Company pregame show. It might be the last time they do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Connect Federal Credit Union is here for you. In a world of uncertainty, isn't it nice to know some things haven't changed? Like Community Connect's commitment to their members and community. We are here to help you save, plan, invest, grow, and sometimes move forward into new opportunities or adventures. Community Connect FCU has many options available, and becoming a member is pretty easy. Stop in, call, or visit our website at communityconnectfcu.com and click join to get started. Community Connect Federal Credit Union, 1050 East Spring Street, Titusville. Interstate Pipe and Supply means it when we say service means business. With a knowledgeable staff, full fleet of trucks, and large product offering, we can answer your questions and fill your orders, big job or small. Covering multiple applications and industries, we're not just a plumbing location, but a one-stop shop assisting homeowners and contractors quickly and efficiently. We are locally owned and make it our number one priority to keep our customers returning and happy. We have been a staple in the Titusville community for 40 plus years. Stop in today and let us service you. Good luck to the Titusville Rockets this year. Hey, welcome back to the Larry's Auto Service Colonial Machine Company pregame show here at Carter Field tonight. The Dragons and the Rockets. And uh, I'll tell you what, for a final game, a lot of history between these two teams. And had some fun talking about the, the Mud Bowl, but it seemed like those Titusville uh, Warren games are always played in the mud. It always is. And uh, we can go back through and remember guys out of Frank or out of Franklin, out of uh, Warren, who were outstanding football players, Toby Chase teams, and so on. Uh, but uh, it's good to be playing back with the Meadville, Oil City, Franklin, uh, Warren teams. And uh, even though there are different divisions and all that kind of stuff, but because of COVID, that's where we're at. But uh, yeah, Warren comes in with uh, a pretty good football team. I know they're one and three. I understand that. But uh, uh, they've had the same problems we've had with the big teams, Oil City. I think it was like 61 nothing or something. 
Oil City got us 72-0. Uh, Meadville beat them up like they did to us, but uh, I look for this to be a pretty good ball game tonight. Well, that's kind of one of the things that uh, we're disappointed. Remember, the week one game against Meadville was supposed to be uh, against these same Warren Dragons, and I think uh, you know it would have been nice to have them in week one instead of Meadville. Gives us at least uh, you know a little bit more of a competitive game uh, that we're expecting tonight. Um, but yeah, I think you know Warren's having a little bit of issues some places. Where Titusville's having uh, some trouble with uh, in other areas. But it should be a competitive ball game here tonight. The uh, players to watch here, according to <coughs> coaching staff from Warren McAllister, Pasmore, Swanson, and Duvalos, uh, for the key players for them this evening. Uh, McAllister's a big boy. He's listed at six foot two forty, tackle for um, uh, the Dragons and. Uh, Rumor has it that uh, some people are looking towards him. Uh, he's got good size, Steve, so I'm anxious to watch him play. Yeah, he's their big uh, big man up front. They're going to run to his side, so we're going to find out which side he's going to play. And, it, you know, they might even try to flip-flop him uh, to the wide side of the field to try to get outside of tight as well as the quarterback and the, and the wide receiver positions. Uh, they'd like to see a little bit more production there, and, and that's what they're hoping for tonight against Titusville. Well, and Swanson, uh, we watched him. He had a pretty good um, – he looks like he had pretty good speed, James Swanson. So, uh, Pazmore to Swanson might be something you'll be seeing out of the backfield. Well, for Titusville tonight, again, uh, we've talked about this all, all year long, basically. We want to own the time of possession. If we have the ball, they can't score. We need to get some drives going. But not only that, we need to finish drives. We've had some drives right. here in, in previous games we could not uh, score on. The passing attack, that's I think, is going to be based a lot on whether or not we can get a ground game going to set that passing attack up, particularly play action uh, for our chance to go deep. Hit and wrap, uh, play loose and hard. They kind of go together. we got to get physical again. We're just not physical. And, again, Titus will still looking to see, you know, what they do well and find an identity both offensively and defensively. So, you know, tonight you got to just got to throw everything together here tonight and, and answer some questions. Well, the consistency and uh, being able to finish drives were terrible in the red zone. Uh, we get out of the five, we end up in the 30. Uh, get to the 18-19, we keep going backwards instead of forwards. So we've got to learn how to finish inside the red. Yeah, I think uh, you, you look at it, and, and granted, this team has struggled. Uh, but I think we were like 0-5, 0-6 or something in the red zone, which, according to my math, as I remember correctly, is terrible production. <laughs> well, the big thing I'm looking for is this turnover battle. We need to make some of our own magic here tonight, make some of our own luck, and we need to win a turnover battle and uh, put ourselves in some better positions field-wise. Yeah, that's very true. We need to help ourselves out. Uh, you know, we, we do a great job of shooting ourselves in the foot, whether it's a, a missed blocking or a, a, a sack or a penalty. Uh, let's see if we can't turn the tables here tonight, get a, get a turnover and give us a short field. So there's an interesting tie-in here uh, with the Warren coach and Titusville's history a little bit. Um, the, the graphic won't explain it properly, but we're going to bring it up, okay, just so you have an idea. So, Coach John Wiley, inducted into the Hall of Fame just a few years ago, coached here for a number of years. Uh, so he was Mark Morelli's defensive coordinator. I don't think that's correct, right? Did we discover talking to yeah, that's right. How? Yeah, that's right. right. John Wiley was the defensive coordinator for Mark Morelli when Mark Morelli okay. was playing for Ridgeway back in the 70s. So the graphic is correct. The graphic is correct. Okay. English wasn't, you know, necessarily your best Well, we were kind of confused up here. I, <laughs> we were yeah. very confused up here. And we will be all night. But, yes. but, but uh, So Mark Morelli, the coach, and Coach John Wiley still remain very good friends. Uh, and another Titusville football player, Eric Rosansky, who is on Warren's coaching staff, uh, played for Coach Wiley as a defensive back receiver. And, uh, of course, we know former Rocket Sam Mowry, head coach at Grove City. The point that Coach Morelli was bringing up to us is the impact that these coaches have had on, on the players and how they've gone on well, to, it, it, to coach in high school. Yeah, football. it's always interesting when you uh, you see a history like that because uh, there's such a tie-in between the schools, and it's not just Titus or Warren. Uh, we got Randy Feetner down in Pittsburgh. Where the steel is out of Meadville. We got Meadville. Eddie O'Neill who come out of Warren. We got all these. Do you remember that kids. conversation a couple weeks ago? We were naming all these yeah, people, yeah. and we didn't mention James Conner at all. Never once. Never once. I thought of that. We didn't mention Randy Feetner either. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we've had some really outstanding athletes come out of this area and some good coaching, and there's a lot of ties between these schools. All right. We're going to take our final timeout. We've got kickoff coming up next.
This will wrap up the Larry's Auto Service Colonial Machine Company pregame show. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis? Hey, do they ever ask you what you're wearing? Uh, yeah. Red sweater, button-down shirt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Get expert home comfort and installation with Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning of Titusville. Now is a great time to schedule an appointment to have your furnace checked out before the colder days and nights ahead. It's also a great time to ask Vanderhoof about the Remy Halo, a patent pending device designed to neutralize odors, air pollutants, smoke, mold bacteria, and viruses. Visit Vanderhoof online today to learn more or give them a call at 814 671 3226. Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning of Titusville. For 48 years, Oil Creek Plastics has provided quality, service, and integrity to their customers and community. Their talented and committed employees strive to deliver to their clients the best products that are American-made. In that spirit, our high school athletes show commitment to their school and community, excelling at every event. In these times of uncertainty, community comes together. Oil Creek Plastics is proud to support the Titusville Rockets and continue traditions that are made in the USA. Stream Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of Titusville Rocket Sports on Stream TV. And welcome to Carter Field tonight as the 1-3 and three Dragons take on the 0-5 Titusville Rockets. Week 6 of high school football. Clear skies tonight, 44 right now. <laughs> Temperature will be dropping here <laughs> shortly. That little opening there that you did, that's really nice. How'd you get the blimp to fly over Titusville? Well, we blew our budget for the next five years. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> enjoy what we have, guys. <laughs> uh, no, that is a really nice shot, though, over, uh, high over top of Titusville, looking down at Carter Field. And, uh, again, that view next year will be a little bit different. Yeah. Actually, you'll be able to see a T in the middle. You, you, you better see a T in the middle. Well, it appears as though Titus will uh, probably warn won the toss as deferred would be my guess because Titus is going to receive uh, as we get this game underway and that's going to be an uh, opportunity now for Titus to get a chance to show us what they're going to do offensively here this evening as um, th this game gets underway. Titus will send, um, I believe it's Nickerson. No, check that. Uh, have the wrong number here on my paper. Sorry, folks. It will be uh, Stearns, Nate Stearns, standing back deep. <clears throat> He'll standing back about the uh, five-yard line as they get set to kick off. They'd be in the Warren Dragons, and this game's about ready to get underway. Should be a really good ball game. I'm looking forward to uh, a lot of fireworks here this evening. I believe Ziegler's going to be kicking off for the Warren Dragons. Alex, check that. Yes, Alex Ziegler. And we're set to go. The kiss is going to be short, going off the left side. It looks like it will go out of bounds, and Titus will, will get the ball. Uh, first down and 10 with out of run back. So we'll see what Titus can do out at the 35-yard line, first down and 10. Here's a Titus starting lineup here. Nat, Baker, Koval, Malave, Titus, and Elon at the skill positions. Offens offensive line, Schmidt, Cantor, Wheeling, Nosco, and Skolumbrine. Uh, round out the front five. Those are the guys that are going to have to start opening things up for us tonight. Well, we'll see what we can do with this uh, ball club of Titusville. And uh, as I said, the offense has all been sputtering for the first part of the season or the first five games of the season. Titus will open up with doubles to the right side. <clears throat> we'll put a man in the slot left or on the wing. We'll go out of shotgun on the snap. Nap, high snap, gives it off the tailback, straight through, drives across the 40 to about the 44, and we got a hold. Yeah, we got a, I think it's a face mask, maybe. Yes. I thought it was a face mask on the tackle myself, but here we're uh, defensive linemen. Haltberg, McAllister, Sears, and Ziegler for Warren. Arnold Passmore, that's the young man they were looking for some uh, tackles tonight. McMeans, Wilson, and Fiscus, that's an interesting, they got a three-man uh, three defensive secondary. That could leave some gaps open in the passing game for Titusville if we can run some deeper routes. 
So Tynesville, by virtue of the penalty, will get a first down. The ball will come out to about the uh, Rocket 48-yard line. He'll hit first down, 10 doubles to the left, wing right. Single back. It's Baker driving straight ahead across the 50 to about the 49-yard line of Warren. That was uh, not a... <clears throat> Now it'll be a first down. The penalty did not get us the first down. That yardage did. Spotted at the 49 of Warren, first down and 10. Here it is straight up ahead, and there you can see the, the things are opening up in the middle. So Titus's offensive line, at least the first couple of plays, have uh, established control. We'll see if we can continue that throughout this ball game. Titus now doubles to the right side, with a wing left. It's getting off the tailback once again, drives ahead. Baker tries to get to the outside, and uh, a little bit of job defensively there for the line of uh, the Dragons. No gain. Baker's going to take it. <clears throat> looks like a counter play or a trap play, but he runs into his own offensive lineman and kind of slowed him down coming our way. You can see, yeah, the looks like the guard was pulling around, didn't quite get around and clear it. Brings up a second down, no gain. Second down, 10 for Titusville. Doubles right side now. Check that left side for Titusville. Wing right. A little different offensive set this week. Now a man in motion. The ball's given off to Baker. Goes to the outside. It's across the 45, the 40. Several flags down. Holding on Titusville. Baker's going to take it all the way down to 10, the 5. And he's in for the touchdown, but it's going to come back. Son of a gun. <clears throat> Two flags, holding Titusville right back about the 45 of Warren. Both officials threw that quickly, Steve. They saw it right off the bat. I missed it. I was watching the, the kick out block. You watch 70 come across. It's a good job of keeping that close. Oh, right there it was, a tight end. Yeah. I think it was Alon. I'm not too sure he held him. I think he just kind of ran him over, to be honest with you. Can you scroll back just a little bit, Luke, on that? Just to, you'll see him. Right, he's going to clear 77 at the tackle. There's a, okay, their initial hold, the initial hit, you can see the arms out. That's what gets the uh, holding penalty. That was uh, Titusville. Uh, Cyrus Sears of uh, Warren, six foot, 290 pound tackle that uh, was in the tie up there. So that brings the ball back, no touchdown. Takes it back to the 45 to Titusville, second down and 16. <clears throat> Titusville now will uh, go power right side, strong side right, wing right. Colwell in motion to the right. Turns up field. Knapp wants to throw. Still looking. Got a man over the middle, and it is knocked down. Well played by Warren. Braden Johnson, the intended receiver there. He's just going to run down the field and then come across on a slant pattern. Uh, just couldn't get any separation from the secondary. Makes contact off the line of scrimmage. They're in bump and run coverage. Just couldn't separate. Not a badly thrown ball. Just need to do a little better job of getting away from the defensive back. Third down, 16 for Titusville. Um, boy, what a penalty can do to you. Uh, good drive going. Titusville had a touchdown from about 49 yards out, but it was called back because of the hold. And now Titusville's in uh, a little bit of trouble playing behind the sticks. Three downs, third down, 16 at their own 45. Doubles left, wing right, wing goes in motion. Ball's given off to Baker. Baker drives ahead, and uh, he'll pick maybe three in a play. Bring up a fourth down. <clears throat> See what coach wants to do here. And Warren does a nice job here on this one. Uh, they, they're going to allow a little bit of uh, running room, but they, they sh shake off the uh, blockers. We're just watching Baker a little slow getting up, but he's now trotting off the field, uh, getting off their blocks and making a tackle there. Brings up a fourth down, and it uh, looks like Titus is going to send in the punting team. Titus was coaching staff, uh, not afraid to gamble in situations, but early in the game, although Knapp is still in there. So uh, rather than flip the field, uh, we're going to try to go for this on fourth down and uh, 13. Well, it could be a quick punt, too. Well, I've not <clears throat> seen Knapp punt the ball. We'll see. Brooks is in the backfield. Trips right, Knapp's rolling to his right, still rolling. Throwing downfield is complete, but out of bounds. Not enough for the first down. And Warren will take over at their own 45-yard line. The pass was complete to Koval, but uh, not enough. Yeah, if it's fourth and 13 and you're going to throw a five-yard route, you're, even if you complete it, you're going to turn the ball over on downs. I, 
I myself, uh, that's a punt there for me. But Flip the field. Uh, again, Titusville 0-5. You've got very little to lose by going for it. So it's first down and 10. We'll see what Warren can come up with as uh, Micah Passmore will be a quarterback. Swanson in the backfield with him. We'll catch some of these names as we go along here. This will be Warren's first offensive set. They've had a wing right. First down and 10. Snaps directly back. They're coming to the outside. They know they can get outside in Titusville. Swanson across the 45. So Titusville knocked out of bounds at about the 40-yard line. 41-yard line of Titusville will be enough for a first down. You want to talk about the old-fashioned student body right. Here it comes. They're going to come right at you, and they're going to bring everybody. Uh, they're, oh, they're going to go hurry up, too. Uh, probably lots of little huddle films. Uh, no, they can get outside in Titusville. Strong side. And I checked that two double tight ends. Double tight end. And now we have a flag down, and uh, that play's going to be alone dead motion. Again, snap directly back to Swanson. But um, play's coming back. Well, that's one of the things. If you're going to run hurry up, you got the quarterback's got to make sure everybody gets set. But one of the things we needed to know tonight, that tonight uh, one of their, uh, our defensive ends uh, is not in uniform tonight. He was hurt last week. That's Jacobson. Uh, there you see Alon Nosco, Cantor, and Menemeyer is going to fill in for your Jacobson. The linebackers are going to have to do a better job of filling and making tackles. There's your secondary, Johnson, Koval, Brooks, and Titus. First down, 15. Wayne left. Swanson going to the left side. Out across the 40, inside the 40 to about the 39. And we can see the game plan now. Go left, go right, go left, go right. Maybe up the middle once. Well, and if you study films on Titus, well, the first thing you're going to make them prove is that uh, you can't run on them. And so far, Warren not even interested in a passing attack. They're just going to go left and right on the ground. Second down and eight. Good snap. Straight up the middle. Pasmore, uh, Swanson, excuse me, inside the 30 to the 25. And uh, brought down right about the Titus with 25-yard line. So in-your-face football by Warren right now. Titus is going to have to make a couple of adjustments here. They're going to have to start loading up the box here, try to stop this ground game, uh, or this is just uh, they're just going to take us right in for a touchdown. So I look for a little bit of uh, creeping up by at least the secondaries and the linebackers to try to stop this running attack. First down and 10 for the Dragons. They're at the Titus with 25. David's having a fit out here. <laughs> Once a coach, always a coach. We'll get to him here in a minute. Wing right now for the Dragons. Direct snap. And his pass more, and he's going to be hit. He maybe pick up a couple on the play inside the 25, about the 22. Micah pass more, 5'10", 175 pounder. And we got another rocket limping off the field. Titus is coming off the field, the starting linebacker, so... That's not helping us here either. We got to uh, bring up a second down and eight. Second down and eight for the Dragons. We're in the first quarter. Eight minutes a little left to go. No score. Dragons pushing it down the field. Direct snap. Back coming across the right side. Inside the 25 to the 20. It's Swanson and knocked out of bounds somewhere around the 15. Ball is carried by number five, James Swanson. It'll be enough the for right the side. first down. So it'll be first down and 10 from the Titus rule about the 12. Again, Tyler, you know, they're going to have to bring something up here to get uh, outside. They're going to have to line up their defensive ends possibly even a little bit wider than where they're at to, uh, to stop this sweep game. Snap back to Swanson straight ahead, right up the middle, the 5, the 10, and he's in at the about the one-yard line it looks like. I don't, I'm not too sure. David on that lineup on that play, there's an, there's an open gap right right at the very beginning, doesn't it look like? In our in the A, in the a gap. In the, the a, a gap, gap it looks open, like yeah. somebody's not quite set for tight as well. Well, the quarterback, they're five and three here. They both have their hands out like they're going to take the snap. Yeah. And I can't believe that's really causing No, I don't think that's confusion an issue, whatever. but uh, it just looked to me like there's a natural opening yeah, on our he, defensive line right off the bat. Yeah, he went straight through. Okay, watch this close, Bill. We'll get down to you here in a second. It's first down and goal from uh, the one for the Dragons. Big drive for the Dragons, and it's going to be Pazmore taking it in for the touchdown. So, Bill, you've been watching that drive uh, pretty much demand uh, a little bit of uh, more reaction from the Titans with defensive line. Yeah, they're not playing that bad. They just got to widen, widen a little bit, and uh, if they're not going to throw the ball, like you said, move up, get those well, safeties, move up a little bit. Another fix would be to go to a five-man front, put a nose over the center, widen your defensive ends into that C gap, 
um, and play a cover three defense there in his own defense if they're gonna throw, no big deal. Getting ready now for the extra point attempt. Ziegler will be, uh, he's looking for another player, it looks like. Looking for help. Yeah, they're missing somebody on their kick team. Boy, you don't wanna have to call a timeout for this. No, down to five seconds, no. You're taking his time getting in there too. <laughs> and and now they take the timeout. Take the timeout. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one you don't wanna take. Uh, again, though, going back, that whole drive, it's all on the ground. And it's really, I mean, they're not they are not even really handing the ball off. This is a quarterback no. to the right, quarterback to the these left, are, and the quarterback up snaps. the middle, yeah. If it is going to the uh, tailback there, it's a direct it's snap. It's a direct snap to them. Yeah. So, uh, again, you know, we'll be looking to see if Titusville, while, you know, this first, first quarter progresses, whether or not, uh, you know, they, they institute a little bit of change. David, if you don't want to change your, 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 front, your front four, if you want to stay with your front four, what do you do with your backers in this case? Well, I want to look at, here at this offensive line and see if there's a strong call or a weak call that can be made so you can shift your D-line to that strong side. If they're playing a gap coverage type defense, which I'm expecting that they're trying to do. Um, and then your linebackers have keys. And fill, the, and fill and, in. And they got to come in and fill, but they got to see, especially on direct snaps, now you know who's got the ball. There's nothing fancy going Not, on Go here, get them. But we're not, we're not attacking. We're getting blown off that line, and, and we're not uh, containing at all. Oh, that's the extra point. Bad, Bad snap. snap, and uh, nothing's going to happen there. And uh, all right, now I, I, I mean, I really hate the nitpick. Do you, you don't have this, do you, on replay? This, if you're a football player. And this happens to you, and, and that, that snaps bad, and the kicker's picking it up, and, and you're free. You're running free at him. You it, take him off his it's, feet. You know, this is the shot you want to have, uh, particularly at any you know at, at any situation with, with a guy with the ball. Uh, he's standing still. That's a rarity in football as it is that the guy's going to stand still. Here you see the snap. And it's over there. This, this, the holder went hold down. down. yeah. But you see how we we see how we sl almost slowed down a little bit before we made contact. Run through him. It, it's allowed in football. It's okay. Nobody's going to call mom and say you were a bully. Just run through him. <laughs> you know, we'll pick up pieces afterwards. We'll be more than happy to do that. But we've got to, that's what we're talking about, we're getting right. physical, Number running through on these tackles. We find other teams doing it, and we don't. Ziegler is going to kick off now as uh, we get set here. Down 6 nothing. are the Rockets. Good possession, a oh, short he's kick. Offsides. Yep. Outside, yeah. It was a good uh, drive by Warren, other than the uh, extra point attempt, but uh, Titus was going to have to make some adjustments on it. They're going to back now kick from the 35. Now, I, I can only imagine how frustrating this is as, to a coach. Well, they'll give you... They'll give you about a step as far as the timing goes yeah. and everything. Yeah. Uh, that was a little bit, a little bit than, much. So, so, yeah, at this point in time, you're hoping you got that timed up better. Uh, now, the other thing, too, is did the kicker change how he dresses the ball? Because the guys are working their timing based mean, on how he did kicks. He, did he say hello or how are he's you? Yeah, like, he's got to be very Hi, polite. Hi, Mr. McCrillis. <laughs> how are you tonight? That's and the kick oh, very oh. short. And uh, get on it. Somebody it's better slide. get there. And it goes out of bounds. Mercy mo. That ball didn't go more than 12, 15 yards downfield, and I thought Warren's going to get that one. Well, that got helped by getting hit in the air. Yeah. Well, it was out of bounds. The Rockets will take so the Rockets over. will take over first down and 10. And Tyson had a uh, touchdown called back because of holding, so it's not like we hadn't moved the ball. But um, Well, they proved it again. Once again, they proved they can, they can move the ball. They had a drive going, had a touchdown called back on the hold, and, and that killed the drive. So those are the type of things that have been – uh, getting us all year long. First down and 10, Titus with their own 43-yard line. Doubles to the left side, wing right. Garrett Knapp will be at quarterback. Baker back in, I believe, at tailback. He is. He's got the ball. Oh, holds up. Now breaks to the outside. Gets a block from Brock Koval. Good block, and he's out to the 49. I thought he's going to get nothing. Ended up picking up about uh, seven. Well, that's a nice job after being stopped, basically, bouncing it, taking a look. And this is one of the things that we've had trouble with is uh, going, looking up field, keeping your eyes up field, and then coming up. And block, uh, Brock Koval comes in and picks up a block. But you've got to be seen. You've got to be visual when you're running the ball. Brings up a second down and four. Pick up a six on the play. 6.45 to go first quarter. Doubles right, wing left. Knapp gives it off to Baker once again. Nice cut back across the 50. Drives ahead to about the 
first down stick, maybe a yard short. Baker, right now, these last couple of plays has run well. He's had his head up, and he's found, uh, been patient, found holes, uh, and has taken advantage of them. So Titus will hear again, we've got a little bit of a drive going. Can we avoid the bad negative play? And we're, we're, we're kind of finding the spot we want to go to right now. We like running to our left at this point, attacking that side. Third down and one. Malave comes left along with Brock Cole in the slot left. Wing right. Colin Baker still in the backfield. Knapp looking to throw. Got a blitz coming. Knapp rolls to his right. Throws over the middle to Colville. Nice catch. He's at the 40, the 35, to the 30, and brought down at about the 25-yard line. That was a nice ball, but a nice catch by Brock Colville. Titus will first down and 10 at the 25 and Warren. Colville starts out in the left slot. He's just going to come down about, you see him at the 50. He's going to go about five yards or so, and he's going to take it straight across the field. He's got his man beat. Now, that's nice recovery there for the Warren uh, secondary. That's uh, Blake Arnold. But Colville does a nice job of watching the ball into his hands, makes the catch, and picks up additional yardage. A good play there for Titus. First down and 10, Titus at the 25. Doubles right side, wing left. It comes to Baker, gonna take it upfield. Turns up across, then he drives across the 20 through about the 17 yard line. Pick up of about eight on the play. Well, I'll tell you one of the things that I like about this for Colin Baker is uh, this is probably one of the most action he's seen in the game since that game against Franklin where he had trouble holding on to the ball. He's done a nice job tonight picking up yardage and holding on to the football. Yeah, he's got two hands on that sucker tonight. He, he better. <laughs> Second down about three for the Rockets. Five minutes left to go here in the first quarter, down six. Doubles left side. Baker again up the right side, and uh, he's going to get smacked. Right about the line of scrimmage, Passmore, I believe, is up to make the hit. Yeah, Passmore is playing the safety position. Well, they've got him listed as a linebacker, but uh, he comes up really quick, reads that, and makes a nice play on it. Hey, Bill, what's the uh, atmosphere on the sidelines like? There's a lot, lot of talking going on down here, boys. A lot of it. A little excitement. Things happening. This is uh, the best drive we've seen times of this season. Actually, it's the second time we've driven tonight, but uh, got a, kind of a stall the first time. Third down and three. This is where we have our problems inside the 20. Doubles right side. Put a man in motion. That's Koval coming to the left. Knapp wants to throw. He's still Blast. looking to throw. Going to roll to his right. And he's going towards the end zone, and it is caught. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Yeah. Incomplete. And I don't know how close it, Malavi there is the intended receiver. I don't know how That's close it was as, as Knapp clears the right side of the line. He's looking left, which is a nice look off. Then he comes out. Here's where he's got to decide. I'm not too sure, but what if he tucks that ball, he doesn't get the first down. Brings up a fourth down and three for the Rockets. They're at the 18-yard line of Warren. So big play here for both ball clubs. Malave comes wide left. We have doubles on the right side. And Warren just got a substitute on the field. Ball's handed straight ahead. Driving straight ahead for the first down, I think, is Baker. I think <coughs> on the it far is. side, yeah. He just came, took about a half a step in front of the first down marker. There we go to our jumbo package. That was Jackie Elon riding, uh, running that ball, yeah, on the power. So Elon picks up the first down at the 15, first down and 10. That was a big fourth down for the Rockets. Patterson now will send doubles to the left. Stern's on the right side. The ball's given nice off cut. to Baker. Drives nice cut back nice up cut. in. I believe that's enough for about four yards. And again, now he's uh, Colin's starting to get into a rhythm here, and you kind of like to see that for your running backs. And again, his head's up. He sees the uh, the attacking defense and cuts it up inside there, and he's, he's picking up good yardage here uh, for the Titusville offense. Ball's down to the Warren 11, second down and seven. Titus will send Malave left. Koval coming into the slot left. Knapp looking to corner, throw. Corner. Looking over the middle. Oh. Got a man over Morgan. It's call, uh, Baker. And uh, Baker will take it inside the 10 to about the nine yard line. Thought we might get a little bit more out of that. Yes, pass attempt is complete to number 20, Colin Baker. Be a third down and seven. Check that third down at about five. Bill McCurlis on the wireless mic tonight brought to you by Boonies right down 
at the action there, right, right down, on the 10 there, Bill. Third down and four, ball spot at the nine yard line. Third down and four, Titus with the nine and Warren, doubles right, single left. Ball's given off straight ahead, and uh, Dragons are going to stop and pick up maybe a couple on the play. Ball's carried by number 20, Brings up Paul four. Tackle <laughs> made by number 69. That one we tried to sneak the, the fullback uh, a little bit late on the handoff. It just three seemed like the timing, the timing off just a little bit there. But uh, again, when it gets inside the 10 yard line, uh, uh, inside the 15, inside the 10, Every play starts to get a little tougher because everything's a little bit more cramped down there. Fourth down three, another big fourth down play for the Rockets. Wide out to the left, doubles right, Rockets. There you go, Warren got him on the count. Warren jumped the gun, and it'll be a first down. That'll be enough for a first down as Warren got a little anxious. The old hard count. I'm just wondering, it's half distance, I think, so I don't think it's enough yeah. for the first down, is it? No, it might not be. You're right. Oh, well, I think they down. got it. Yeah. Is, it is it a first down, Bill? Yeah. They're going to measure it. If it is, it's by the nose of the ball. Yeah, so well, I was fourth and three. Yeah, you're right, though. It was half distance. Well, yeah, we'll see. They bring the chains across. Get a big guy in the middle and quarterback sneak this thing if you have to, I guess. Get Nolan down there to zoom in on that. It is a first half football. Down. Half, half football. Half football. Good call, Bill. There you go, Nolan. That was not my glasses, too. <laughs> now, your first and goal from the four yard line, I know what I'm doing for four plays. Right up ahead. Well, I'm putting, first of all, I'm putting my big jumbo package back in right now. This is where I wish we had like a power eye formation. We'll have Baker in the backfield along with Knapp. It goes to Baker. Baker off tackle, drives straight ahead, and he's in close to about the one. Again, Titus are now running a little bit of trap action, leading with the uh, guard coming across. They had a nice opening there. Uh, I thought, I thought he was going to get in the end zone. I did too. And uh, Warren sure steps up and stops him just at the one-yard line. So one Now you got line. your power eye. you got uh, Elon in the backfield and uh, Baker behind him. Knapp goes under center. Second down and goal. It goes to Elon. He drives ahead, and he does not get there. No, but you got to get going. Just because you're big doesn't mean you can take forever to get to the line of scrimmage. I think what I would do here, if it's me, Dave, third and one, I'm putting my jumbo package in there. I'm telling my quarterback to sneak it, and my fullback and tailback push him from behind. Yeah, they've got a little rugby. They've, they've got some size in the middle of that D line right there and stuff, so there's going to take some effort, but you got to get low. Yeah, yeah. you got to get down. you, you got to get down, and you got to get a head of steam up in that short distance. Third down and uh, goal from the one-yard line. Under center is Knapp. It goes to Baker, there and Baker it takes it in, touchdown. Nice opening. Uh, Good job. Uh, at the front five there. Uh, and we'll give them credit on this drive. They did some really good work yes, opening up some holes there for Colin Baker to run through. Yeah, we'll give that one to the offensive line. We've given them a bad time the whole season. This time, uh, they got the job done. You can see, right, 64 just takes the nose guard and just tells him to go back home. That's Lodge Nosco, a junior, does a nice job of standing the, the nose tackle up and opening up a hole. Bromley's in to uh, do the extra point attempt for Titus. We'll put Titus up here if he can make it. Tied, tied at six. Good snap. The placement. The kick is up, and the kick is good. 15 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Titusville seven, Warren six. That's the uh, first, first lead time of the this year. year. First, first lead of the year. And uh, you know what? It's the first time we've seen an extra point kick look that good from anybody. <laughs> yeah, he's I mean, got a we've good seen, though. Yeah, we've watched five games now, and uh, that kick there was a nice, and it nicely kick ball. Wasn't that great a hold? Snap no, the snap was a little bit low. The holder Hold did a nice job, job of getting it down on the tee, but that was a really good kick. So well, excitement down there, Bill? Uh, a lot of excitement. Let's see what uh, our defense can come up with now, guys. Our yeah, offense looks pretty good right now, but had that defense clicking. Well, we're going to do something to uh, kind of plug things up here in this offensive series that uh, Warren just ran right down our throat. So, yeah, that's the adjustment we've got to make, Bill. We'll see what we can do. 
Bromley will kick off for Titusville. Titusville leading 7-6, 15 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Standing back at about the 15 yard line. It's been white. I'll take it down here about the 10. Well, uh, that's where I'm standing. Nobody down here in the corner. Nosco's going to kick off. I thought uh, Bromley would do the kicking. It is Nosco does our long kicking. The big uh, lineman of the Rockets. And we'll see what Thompson can do here. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Good kick. It's going to go over the head of, uh, no, it's going to be picked about the 10-yard line. So get Plus him. 15 to 20. Breaks They're to the outside. The There's another one. 30, and the flags are down, and uh, tackles hit. at Good the hit. 25. Two blocks in the back that I saw. Caleb Bruns making the tackle. Not bad coverage for Titusville. No. Uh, but I thought there was a couple of uh, blocks in the back that they could have called here. One coming in from our left, kicking team's left side. It's a good kick. Nosco gets a nice kick on the ball. And right here, you're going to see, uh, there's, uh, right there's right the there's block one, in the back. Yeah. There's and one. there's the second one that they do call. And uh, then there's, there's the tackle. So uh, their choice of penalties. So far, they haven't uh, missed a call. <laughs> Unlike us, huh? Well, we never do. That's how we know they haven't missed. When we've called them. They've been they've been able to throw the flag. So, six and a half seconds left in the first quarter. First down and ten for the Dragons at their own 21-yard line. See if Thompson has made some adjustments. And the ball is direct snap coming across the right side That's and it. got him. Nice job, Elon. Elon does a nice job of getting a hold of him, bringing him down. So it looks like we shot some people there and uh, able to control the outside. Yeah, we did. Uh, I think we did a nice job. I think Elon just basically just got off his block and, uh, and grabbed a hold of him and spun him down. Into the first quarter, 7 6. Titus will on top. Get expert home comfort and installation with Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning of Titusville. Now is a great time to schedule an appointment to have your furnace checked out before the colder days and nights ahead. It's also a great time to ask Vanderhoof about the Remy Halo, a patent pending device designed to neutralize odors, air pollutants, smoke, mold bacteria, and viruses. Visit Vanderhoof online today to learn more or give them a call at 814-671-3226. Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning of Titusville. Exceptional care. That is what our team of compassionate experts at Titusville Area Hospital Orthopedics will provide. Whether you are experiencing aches and pains or have suffered from significant injury, we are here for you. Board certified orthopedic surgeon Michael Dvorkin is highly experienced in treating all orthopedic and sports medicine conditions. No matter what the treatment may be, you can trust that we'll be here for you every step of the way helping you get back to the life you enjoy. Learn more about our exceptional orthopedic care at TitusvilleHospital.org. And welcome back to Carter Field. Titus is leading 7-6 as we get underway here in the second quarter. Warren with the ball, second down and 12. They'll send a wide to the left. And they get a wing right. Direct snap, ball to the ground. And Warren has it, but uh, they'll lose about another three. And move it back to about uh, second and 15. And I see your seat. Titus was getting a taste of what happens when you get up on somebody. You smack them in the mouth once or twice. Funny things start to happen. They, you know, we make a good play at the end of the first quarter. First play, the second quarter, fumbled snap. Third down, 14 for the Warren Dragons at their own 15-yard line. Ben White goes wide to the right. They keep your wing left. Looks like a throwing position here, a throwing situation. Passmore quarterback put a man in motion left. Pitch back to the man pass, in motion. Pass, pass. Off the pass, got a man all by himself out here. And it's completed to 30 and brought down at the 34 yard line. And that'll be uh, Swanson. We missed the coverage and uh, Swanson was wide open. One of the things you gotta remember to do is, is, is you gotta do your job first. Now if you look at this, watch this, coming along off is Nicholson. He's got him, if he's trying to run anywhere, he's gonna make the tackle. You've gotta watch the receivers and Titus will let him come right by. Now I'll say this much, if that's their first pass attempt tonight and they've gotta do a little trickery to get the first, I'm coming after him, I'm gonna all, make them every throw. Night, all night, yep. I'm gonna make them, you know. First down and 10 out to 33 of the Dragons for Warren. The snap, pitch back to uh, Sam Swanson. Goes the right side, breaks one tackle out across the 39 to about the 40, maybe 41 yard line. Good run by Swanson. 
I think it was Hunter Titus, though, was the first to make contact. You've got to wrap up. Remember, we talked about wrapping up and holding. Even if you don't bring him down, just stand him up. Well, you got to bring your feet. He's, he's right there. He makes. He's there and to wrap him up. And I, Maybe that's not Hunter Titus. I can't see the number, but hold on to him. Let your help come and, and clean him up. White goes wide right for the Dragons. Second down and two. They now have the ball at their own 40-yard uh, line. Put a man in motion left. Nobody. Pasmore there tries go. to go up, and Pasmore's going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage. And that's Pasmore's fault. Yeah, should have pitched uh, it. Yeah, he should have pitched it, or he should have followed him to the outside. He tried to cut it up inside. Titusville's uh, Seth Brooks had, had covered that. Here you see fives. Even You can see fives trying to hook him to get him outside. Third down and four. Big third down play here for the Titusville Rockets so they can stop him here. It's a punt situation probably. On the snap, it's going to go to Swanson coming across the right side, and he's going to get the first down across the 45 to the 50 to the Tyson 48. Big, strong run out there by Swanson. Now we had our shots. Uh, we just couldn't quite bring him down. He's going to get enough for the first down. Titus will hear defensively. Really, Dave, I think we just need to do a little bit of a uh, job of tackling. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. We kind of stop a little short. We're not running through. You know, it's just kind of like what you're talking about on that extra point. Run through the kit. Run through the kit. Every yeah. tackle, if you can, you're trying to run through, and uh, yeah, don't you know, stop much, and let him hit you. Tackling. Swanson, 5'9", 175 pounder. Looks like a pretty good runner. Some decent speed. First and ten at the Titus for 48 for the Warren Dragons. Good snap. Pasmore straight ahead. And he's hit and tripped up, gain of about two on the play. Again, that's Nosco uh, doing a nice job. Staying low, gets off his block and takes out the legs of uh, Passmore. And I, again, Warren not doing a whole lot with handoffs. An occasional pitch maybe, but there's no direct handoffs. Whoever's going to take that snap seems to be running the football. Nine minutes left to go in the first half. Titus will lead 7-6. Wing left now. Two in the backfield. Swanson has motion. That's going to be five more. I'm not sure what they're doing. I didn't see the movement. Uh, well, that's one of the things now that we're, you know, for Titusville's defense, you've got to make them pay for this. You can't, you can't let them get a first down here. This is where you shut them down right now. Yeah, you got to take advantage of the five yards you just picked up. 8.45, clock running. Ball's at the 49-yard line of Warren. Second down and 13 now for the Dragons. Again, straight snap. It goes to the tailback straight ahead, and he's going to drive inside the 50 back down to about uh, the 48, 48-yard line of Titusville. Bring up a third down. Not a bad job. Caleb Brunts <coughs> in there. And uh, Michael Cantor doing a nice job, not giving up a whole lot of yardage there. Third down and nine. This is the play. This is the one you got to stop right here. This reminds me of the real old days for those of you who are my age. You remember Core used to run nothing but a single wing and just a direct snap body, student body. Greenville did the same Greenville thing. Greenville, yeah, Greenville perfected it. No, you didn't see Core. You were too young. Oh, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Third down nine for Warren. Uh, Looking for the get, throw. He's got the man out there, and it's going to go incomplete. Well overthrown. Good coverage out there by Titusville. Well, and, and a nice job here. We get Brooks and Alon both uh, delivering a shot on the quarterback. Not like he has a much of a chance to, to set his feet here. You can see he's throwing off his back foot. That's very hard to control. That brings up a fourth down and nine. And uh, looks like the punt team's coming in for Warren. And Brock Koval, it looks like, is going to go back, standing at about the dinosaur 20. Well, if I'm the coaches for Titusville, I'm telling my front guy, look, just make sure this isn't a fake before you do, before yeah. you abandon your spots. There it is. It's going to be a there pass. And get him. Uh, gonna get him. He overthrows. Nice job. Nice job by Titus. Uh, Who's that? 40. Nicholson. Nicholson does a nice job. Don't hold your hands up to him. Run through him. You're allowed to do that. You can you can shake his hand after the game. No, actually, no, you, actually can't. you can't. <laughs> well, that's true. No, we do okay, want to say hi can, to all the Warren fans watching wave. tonight. Who you can wave to him to the game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I get it. We, we've talked about this. I'm not talking about a dirty play. I'm not talking about intentionally trying to hurt the kid, but run through them. You know, that's how you say hello in this ball game. And you're talking about two teams that have struggled this season. And, yeah, and, and you know, both teams need to, to kind of do these things, particularly Titus, but we watch them, and 
Now, again, there's a second opportunity. <laughs> First down and 10, Titus Hill. The ball is at their own 47-yard line. You just want to be friendly. That's right. I don't want to be friendly. I'll be friendly after the <laughs> That's what I final. said, after the game. Yeah. Knapp looking to throw. Going to go deep to the right side for Koval. And it's going nice to nice catch. Nice catch. That's a nice catch. 32-yard line. That was a really nice catch, and you can see uh, Knapp does a nice job. He's got time, which is not something we've had a lot of. He looks off. He, you know, you see he's looking down the middle of the field, and then he puts this ball right where Koval can catch it. Nobody else can. That's a good good grab there by Koval. That's a nice look by Koval, too, watching that ball come in. First down and 10, Titusville. They have it now at the 33-yard line of Warren. Doubles right side for Titusville. Wing left. Nap gives it off to uh, Baker. He's going to go nowhere. Good job by the defense of Warren. Uh, 76 in there for the Warren Dragons. Put a stop to that pretty quick. That's, uh, yeah, Hunter Selinger. He's a 5'10", 230-pound. That's a short and, and squat and, and very hard to move. He does a nice job of shooting the gap there. Uh, Tide is a little slow on that in the backfield, I think, uh, uh, you know, we've talked about this a little bit where timing just isn't quite there sometimes. Doubles to the left for the Rockets. Second down and 11. Nap. Bad fumble, and Nap recovers it. He was lucky that Wow, time. yes, he was. Fumble, but by number 11. Well, you know, and here we go. This is where, you know, you want to, you, you, your last drive you got a touchdown on. You, you made a play on fourth down on the fake punt. You got good field position. You need to drive the ball, but we have these plays that just seem to bite us every, you know, every game. Second, they check that third down and 17 for Titusville. Titusville will send wideouts two to the left, one to the right. Nap looks for a draw, has there, and he's in big trouble. And he's going to go down, fumbles Fumble. the ball at the 50, and Warren has it. Good rush by Warren Dragons, and they'll take over. That was, uh, I believe, uh, Alex Ziegler, who uh, was the first man to uh, get in there on the quarterback. Well, this is just kind of it. They send backers and off the right side. We didn't pick it up very well. They brought the safety pass. Well, again, he, they, he's listed as a uh, uh, linebacker, but plays pretty deep for one. Uh, now, we just gotta, just got to hold down onto that ball. At the 50-yard line, we can punt it and pin them deep instead of giving them this, this field position. So it's first down and 10. As, uh, That's an illegal substitution. Two of them going you off. Can't, you can't break huddle from that. Doubles left, doubles right for Warren. New set. New snap, looking to throw. Throws a quick out to uh, Swanson, and down quickly is James Swanson. Pick up of about five. James Swanson, tackle made there by number 87. Hunter Titus done kind of a nice job of coming up very quickly to make the tackle. A little better there. I still, I don't know about you, Dave, but I still like to see more speed attack on the tackle, but we're there and, and hitting and wrapping. Yeah, we don't mind giving up a short pass like that, keeping the ball in front of us as long as we come up and, and finish and finish the play. Doubles both ways for Warren now. Second down and six. Looking to throw. Going to throw the short out to the right side and it's incomplete. Ooh, in and close. out of the hands. Oh. Close to a backwards pass. Very close. You notice they've switched quarterbacks now. Yep. Yeah, they, they got brought that. in a Nick Panucci. Uh, he's a sophomore. Also five, noticing uh, Warren is cutting our D line. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're cutting them down now, trying so. to. What do you do, you know, if, if you're coaching your defensive line? Is it kind of a push down with your hands yes, and hopscotch? Put them down on your hands and. Step get on step over. Get a, this guy, get over him. Yeah, yeah, get going. Stepping on him's okay. <laughs> Third down and Sometimes six. Sometimes <laughs> Five twelve left in the first half. Tyson leads by one. So direct snap to Swanson going to the right oh, side. Oh. coming up. And nice and, job. Uh, nice, back. nice job. Who's that? That's 21. a nice job. Uh, Braden Johnson doing a nice job of coming up there from his spot, making a tackle. It brings up a fourth down, uh, we'll call it fourth down three for the Dragons. They're at the Titus Rocket 43 yard line. Defense got to make a play here. This is where you got to make a stand. Well, which way Swanson going to go is what I would say. That's pretty much it, yeah, because I don't think it's going in the air. James Swanson's been their big back. Oh, they motion. moved. Yep, they moved. Yeah, I thought they moved and I didn't see the fly. I think, uh, well, I think, I think. Both linemen. Yeah, they, both linemen moved, but I thought both the, the quarterbacks 
and the tailback both in there were leaning forward, starting to go too a little early. That makes a big change for the Dragons, and uh, looks like they're going to take a timeout. With 4.33 to go here in the first half, Titus is leading 7-6, and uh, Warren is going to take the timeout. And that's going to take the ball back, and it'll be about a fourth down and eight now for the Dragons. So now, Steve, you talk about uh, taking advantage of a penalty. Here's the big one. Here's the one you got to take advantage of. And, and Titusville has done a pretty good job defensively other than that first drive. Titusville has been a little bit more aggressive. They've gotten a little better controlling that outside run. Uh, and now you've got to watch here because this is probably going to go in the air. Yeah, and we've done a lot better job here in this drive of coming up and finishing play. Finishing our yeah. tackles. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing a little uh, better job of tackling. And, and I think what we're seeing here, at least I hope this is what we're seeing from Titus a little bit, these kids are starting to understand, hey, if we start doing things right, a little bit of success, well, this game's pretty fun to play. Beliefs, confidence, yep. powerful Makes a big difference. Yes. <laughs> big difference. You seeing that down on the sidelines, Bill? Oh, yeah, a lot of big, a lot of difference down here tonight. Wireless Mike, the season brought to you by Boonies. And we thank Bill McCurlis and his work down on the sidelines this season. The worst part of Bill's job is it's cold down there. Well, uh, he, <laughs> he could do laps. Hey, I'm wearing shorts. So some hundreds. Yeah. He wanted to roll around in the grass for the last time. Yeah, it's getting a little wet, it looks like. I told you I would, but I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens here. Fourth down and eight. They're at the 47 of Titusville. Man in motion. Reverse. And reverse. Reverse. There it is. Oh, he missed him. Slides across the 40, the 35, 30. They're not going to get him. And he's going to take it in for the touchdown. Oh, man, we had him. No, well, we certainly did. Good call by Warren. But we had him at the line. Good little counter play right there. James Swanson coming back on the counter on the re semi-reverse play. Uh, we had him. We had a chance to, to, to make the play. We're there. You're going to watch. He's going to come back. There's the handoff. And we're right there, and it's uh, Seth Brooks. Seth Mr. Brooks just, just yeah. a little bit too upfield on his penetration, and that allows him outside. Warren will go for two. They're up 12-7 uh, now. They missed the first uh, extra point attempt, and uh, they'll line up now for two. They have a double wing. Put a man in motion. Pitch back comes the man in motion. Throwing throw it to the outside. Open. He overthrew him. Oh, that's a, wild, that's a duck again. Yeah, he had him wide open, but uh, overthrew Swanson in the corner of the end zone. Okay, so let's see here. So far, we've seen Passmore. That was Alec Borger. And uh, Nick Panucci all throw the ball. Yeah. Pass by committee. And there hasn't been there hasn't been one ball. It's been a spiral. Here's, here's the thing. <laughs> On fourth down, they take a timeout. you got to know something Something's is up. coming. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Coach Ty Harper, state championship game, fourth and seven from midfield. Oh, the hook Take and a timeout. No, this was when oh. we were in a fake punt. The only time we've really had noise on the sideline from coach to coach. <laughs> so it just when they take a timeout there, fourth down, I'm thinking, oh, I hope Harp's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> 12 to seven. Rock is down by five on that uh, reverse counter. Uh, it was a good call by Warren. We just we almost had it, but uh, like you said, we just didn't wrap. So we're set to go. Ziggler kick off, and uh, we have. It's ready for a short kick. We need to move up a little bit. One back. Yes, yeah, always been short. And that's going to be a little that's bit a better good. kick. It's going to go to Brock Koval. Come he's at the way. 25, the 30, and breaks one. Breaks to the outside, and he's going to finally be brought down at about the 33, 34-yard line. But Titus will be able to, uh, you know, four minutes, 17 seconds. And Titus does have the ability. They do have a passing attack. Uh, waiting to see uh, whether or not they, they open up the short passing game like they did against Oil City, maybe uh, some five, seven-yard routes and get a drive going again. Ball we spotted at the Rocket 33, 4.17 left. Uh, first down and 10 for the Rockets. Caleb Sofer come wide to the right. Kovo come into the slot right. And we have a man in the wing left. Single back. Nap out of shotgun, looking to throw. Still looking, looking still short. looking. Come across the right side, throws up short. Oh, that's oh, interference. Throw that. Oh, didn't oh, throw it. Um, pass is incomplete. Bring up a second down and 10. Oh, man, that was interference. I thought he was there a little bit early. 
can go through the back. But. I don't know if this referee down here has a flag or not. Well, watch here. He's coming to watch 12 for Tito. Here comes the defensive back. Yeah, yeah. that's interference. Yeah, I'm too sure. I know. I'm with Steve. Two to one, we win. <laughs> yeah, I have the <laughs> seniority here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Doubles left for Titus. Will. Second down and 10. It goes to Baker. Driving straight across the 35. We'll go to the 36 yard Most line. Picked up nice, about four. Does a nice job. Again, we've talked about Colin Baker. Uh, his vision tonight's been pretty good. He sees the opening, cuts up the field, and, and has picked up. You know, remember, we've talked about this uh, a lot in the past, and our, you know, as far as a running play goes, three yards is a good play. Third down and seven. 340 left to go here, as you can see, clock running. Rockets down 12-7 here, coming in towards the first half. Titus will put two to the left side, wing right. Now they move a man to the left. Nobody with him. Here there is. I missed him. Got a, oh, yeah. down goes Nap. Back at about the 20. A lot of rush. Big rush by uh, the Dragons. And Nap tried to make the turn. Could not. And he's knocked down. And Warren's going to take a timeout. Uh, Dave, on that. On that play, you saw Koval coming in motion. Ball gets snapped. He takes two or three steps upfield and then comes out. He comes out of that break. He's open. That's He's when open. that ball's got to be delivered. That running two receiver routes uh, and him in motion to the to the, to the uh, field side. I'm guessing that's his first look. I would think that's his first look. Um, yeah, and that was open. I mean, he had he had, and he can beat that corner. He's got a shot at a first down. He's got a shot at a first down there. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I. It's not I think a, that ball's got to come out just a little yeah. bit quicker. It's not a bad uh, play call. We just we just got to execute that call. You know, look, this is probably the first time in uh, 50 years I've heard two of my sons get along and agree. Yeah, but you got three of us, and, well, and I know. that's Texas that's never there, happened. So. I was thinking the opposite. You and I haven't really talked a whole lot tonight. No. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Well, good. Let's see. It. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I got a text, but I'm never mind. <laughs> Bill, chime in anytime you like. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't get it mixed up with that family. <laughs> You're a smart man. Thank you. Titus will kick it away. Fourth down and 21. Oh, and penalty. Whoa. That's Ball on starts. us. Oh, it's on us, yeah. Free snap penalty. The little motion against the Rockets. Now, the problem with this is field position after this punt. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, it, and it's looking ahead, let's say, we get this punt, Warren gets the ball. Momentum. At their 40-yard line. And they get the ball back. Or so. Start um, the kickoff. Yeah. I think defensively for Titus, I think you've got to be really aggressive. No, give him a chance. Try to force him into throwing. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. He got just that got it away. away. Fumbled it. No. Nope. There, there you go. Good coverage. Good coverage by Titusville. But good position for Warren there at the yep. short field at the 30-yard line of Titusville. Yeah, but if I'm Warren's coach, I might be having a little conversation with my 11, return guy. The least I want to do is come up here with a fair catch. Oh, yeah. Nate Stern's doing a nice job. He's a freshman for Titusville. Makes a nice hit on, on the return, man. Well, it's up to Titusville's defense right now with 3.10 to go. They've got to keep Warren out of the end zone here. And uh, so they can go in at the least down five. Maybe we get a uh, pick six type thing going here. Well, the one thing you're going to want to do is Koval's going to be playing center field for you. Yeah. So uh, you don't want to give him a whole lot. Of, you know, that's an illegal sub. Oh, he's going to stay on the field. All set to go. Double tight in. Reverse. It's going to reverse yeah. again coming this way. You get the block. Come on. Come on. He's at the 20, 15, 10. And they're not going to get him. He's going to take it in on another counter. And uh, that will be Alex Porter with the 30-yard touchdown run. That hurts. Now it's been it's been an Achilles heel, not just to this football team, but for Titusville teams a lot in the past. These counters, counters. we we bite on the first direction of movement, and then uh, they they bring it back around, and we're just not in position. I don't see the replay. Are they pulling their guards? Yeah, yeah, this? they're pulling a the guard on it. The linebacker, they, they got to see the pull. They yeah. got to they got to read the pullers. Uh, they had good blocking all the way down through on that play. But we have no pursuit. 18-7, Warren. As they come out of the huddle, they'll uh, go for two again. One play, 30 yards. That's a backbreaker. Snap to Swanson. Swanson going to the right side. He's got the corner, nope. and he's in. Oh, nope. flag hit. down, late hit. I guess I'm not too sure he's that late. 
Well, that's the only thing I can think of over there because they didn't get a hand on him. So the, I believe it'll be good, and the penalty will be against Titusville. If he just hops in there and lands and gets tackled, I'm not too sure I can call that late. We're going to see it here. We're gonna go, they're going to go wide. I thought we had somebody out there. I did, too. Uh, to make the tackle. Here he comes in. I'm sorry, that's not late. That's not a late that's hit. That's not late hit. Nope, nope, nope. We got Let's block in the back. Block, block in the back. The back. All right. Okay, I'll take that. Hey, uh, I didn't. Uh, it is a block in the back against Warren. I um, I didn't think it was a late hit from my viewpoint. I didn't viewpoint think so either. either but I didn't see a, any any uh, sign for a touchdown either. Uh, he got it into the flag, but uh, uh, yeah, they didn't make the signal for the uh, extra uh -uh. point conversion. But uh, uh, they're going to bring it back with the uh, penalty. Well, this is going to be really interesting here because that's a that's a ten yarder. Um, no five. Well, yeah, yeah five foul. So a five yard uh, spot foul. Yeah, five yard spot. So it's at the 10 yard line now. First down and uh, check that. Um, now we'll take a timeout. Tyson's going to take a timeout. 18 to 7 here as uh, things are a little bit muddled. Yeah, I was watching that play from up here as a distance across the field from us. Uh, How come uh, they don't do it on a kickoff? The penalty on a kickoff? Well, because uh, the conversion would have been good. Yeah, this is an offensive and penalty. And it's an uh, offensive penalty. So uh, Titus did not want to give him the two points and okay. took the penalty. And um, so now they're going to go for the extra point again. Another two points. No, now they're picking it up. <laughs> okay, so we. Um, now they're throwing it in. Now what are they doing? I don't know. Are they saying he didn't Locking. score? Oh, he did not score. Didn't score so okay. I didn't think so. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. <laughs> You're You're better eyes than me. <laughs> he did not get in, so Tyus oh. was going to. Um, then you declined it, yeah. Decline it and take the penalty. And they said they can do it at the kickoff. Yeah, you would in that case. You, since the extra point was no good, you decline the penalty, or you accept the penalty. That's a, that's, uh, that's the way it should on be. the uh, <laughs> on the kickoff. Yeah. So that's the problem now. Like now, if I'm Warren's coaches, I kind of like an excuse good. as to what's going on here. And that's got to be what it is. So I said I didn't see him give the give the signal. I thought the guy on the far side. Here it is again, uh, and we'll see. I I thought he was in, but here we're going to see him coming around the the far right side. This is the opposite side of the press box here. No, he wasn't. Well. I think he's, he's in. He's in. Can I don't understand that. Roll either. that back just a little bit, Luke. I thought his left foot was in. No, he was out. <clears throat> Fellas, he was out. <laughs> no, that's Burton. Yeah, Swanson's inside the goal line. Well, they didn't give it to him, so. The kickoff anyway. It's 18 7, and we're going to go ahead. Stearns comes out to the right side, cut it up the middle. He's out across the 35, the 40, and Whoa. the story's going to be brought down. Good return. That was a bit confusing there at the end. We'll try to go over that during our halftime. But Titus will have a first down and 10 at their own 40 with 2.54 to go. But this is still enough time for Titusville to get something going yeah. here and still get a touchdown. Uh, I cut into this lead a little bit here. But we got to take care of the ball. Titus will send uh, to the right side. Colin Baker will be the running back, uh, standing there with Garrett Knapp. Wing on the left. It goes to Baker. Baker's going to try to cut up. He does across the 40, drives ahead to about the 44-yard line. Pick up about we'll four in the play. The now, it, we've done, had a pretty good luck with that. I, I might be tempted to tell my boys, you know, we're going to run that play again right to the line of scrimmage and, and go again and not we take the time off the clock. I want to say hi to uh, Jeremy McCrillis and family watching from Honolulu, Hawaii tonight. Oh, wonder if it's 35 degrees there. Doubles to the left, wing right. Well, granddad's going to have to say hi here. I will, oh, just a second. Across the 50 to the 45 of Warren. First down, 10, Titusville. 2 11 left to go. This is really important, too. In high school football, you get a first down, the clock stops, and they have to mark the ball, move the chains. We should be running things. Okay, now I'll say hello to Gavin and Gage. Brian, from Brian and me and uh, Margie, the whole McCrillis family back here in Titusville. Malavia goes wide left. Koval, slot left. 
Wing right. Knapp looking to throw. Looking for Koval. Oh, Malavi Got to move. Got to throw up short. Oh. Oh, boy. If he'd have held that oh. just a little bit longer, we had him. Slop him over. We had uh, on this side Nathan. 18. Uh, Nate Stearns. Yeah, Nate Stearns ran a short route, and the defensive back for Warren, Donovan Fiscus, bought up quick. If he'd have pumped that, you had him open deep. He didn't have enough time. I think he had a man right in his back. But, uh, hey, uh, that's good coaching, Bill. I want to say hi to uh, Brian DeFonzo. No problem. How's he doing? He's in Pittsburgh right now. We wish him all the best. Yes, and, certainly uh, do. Thoughts and prayers with you, uh, my friend. We miss you. We have food up here for you. Hey, Brian, I had your pizza. <laughs> Koval in motion. It goes to Koval. Get a block. Koval's out across the 40 and uh, knocked down about the 39-yard uh, line. Now we're out of bounds, so that'll stop the clock. Also, we want to say hi to uh, Dan Beck, watching from Long Island, New York. Got them all over the country tonight. Yeah, it's nice Dan, to hear from Dan's him. Dan's a, a great guy and has done a lot for uh, Titusville and uh, the music industry. We'll say that. <laughs> I hope everybody out there is watching. Get a get a load of this field for the last time. Yeah, last time on grass, guys. Doubles right, single left for the Rockets. One forty-one to go. Baker no. up the left side, not going to get much, if anything. Well, we missed our block on the end. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Titus will time out right away. It's going to bring up a fourth down, though. Also, oh, now I'm getting in trouble for not saying hi to people. <laughs> uh, Joe Vanderborn. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Joe. <laughs> Open up that can of worms, yeah, I see, yeah, yeah. Hey, we want to thank everybody who's uh, tuned in all season long from across all platforms, across the globe. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, you know, once you uh, graduate from Titusville High School, it's always with you. Well, oh. here's the thing, you know, the, the sign of the times. My father here, did you ever think you'd be broadcasting a game that could be viewed literally worldwide? No, no, I never thought I'd be broadcasting a game, especially with you two idiots. <laughs> I knew I'd be doing it with Luke when I came back from Arizona, but with you and then my grandson out here running a camera, and he, he has no chance to say anything. Well, we've given him opportunities. Yeah, I have yeah. to say. <laughs> yep. You guys, you, you three guys have said it all. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even give him a mic. Yeah, it's been fun. Now, no, I, to answer your question seriously, no. I uh, Ain't technology gate. Well, you know, back in the 50s, I was in school, I don't even know if we talked about a computer system mentality at all. I mean, we're still doing smoke signals. Double left for Titusville. Koval in motion. Pitch back gonna to Koval. He's going to throw it. Got a man going deep. No, he's, he's not do going something deep. He it. turned it off. And he's going to get caught and brought down at his own 48-yard line. Hang on to it. And a lot of time left now for Warren. Well, we're looking deep, but our receiver cut it to an out. Yeah. Didn't continue deep, which he had his well, man possibly beat. And we've talked about this before with some of our receivers. That they have a route in mind. Somebody gets in their way, and they kind of stop. Yeah. And uh, Yeah, like number four. And, and we're just, uh, you know, your quarterbacks then have nowhere to throw the ball. Uh, well, and on fourth down, we want to chuck it anyways. Yeah, chuck it anyway. The worst that's going to happen is incompletion, yeah. and if it's an interception, it might work better than a punt. You never know. Right. Blake Arnold did a good job for Warren on that play, putting pressure on Cole. All right, first down and 10 at the 48th. Good snap. Come get him. Pass over the middle. He's there. Swanson, 10, 5, into the end zone. Touchdown. Holy Toledo. Well, and this is the thing where Titus will have to read who's coming in the backfield. Uh, that quarterback, again, Nick Panucci, and the, the two snaps, and I think he's only had two prior to this one, were both pass plays. Yeah. That's a big, big play for the Dragons. They go up 24 to 7 and uh, take all the momentum now away from Titusville. That was a very nice pass and, and catch. It was. It was a nice play, well designed and uh, well executed. Now Warren's looking to uh, kick the extra point. They're missing somebody out there. Well, they don't have a timeout to use for this one. Getting a guard in there, tackle. 24-7 with the extra point attempt. Placement, the kick is up, and the kick is good. 118 to go in the half. It's 25-7. Warren with two big plays has pretty much uh, taken charge here in this last part of the first half. Mercy. You, know, you, you have opportunities uh, to make plays, and offensively now we're right back to where we were. 
Uh, we had two with the opening drive. Uh, we had the ball moving, a negative play, and that killed that drive. Second drive is one I think we scored on, and we looked really good on that drive. And then since then, we've just kind of sputtered offensively. Defensively, in the secondary, we were doing real well in the beginning, picking up our man and our, our one-on-ones, and now we're letting them behind us. And then we're also not playing discipline as far as these counters and reverses. And we've, we've opened the floodgates. Yeah, we've, we've opened it up. Kind of put a bow on it. Son. Well, on, uh, on the other side of the corn, you've got to give credit to the coaching staff of Warren. They put these things up, and they've uh, they figured some things they, out. They figured it out, and they've using it well. Here's something we should uh, ask our audience. If you're on Facebook and you're uh, adding to the conversation, what was the greatest play you saw here at Carter Field? Maybe add that to the discussion tonight. Stearns picks the ball up. Oh, he falls down at the uh, about the 10-yard line. He's hoping that ball would go out of bounds. It did not, and uh, he touches. Of course, he has to pick it up about the 12, so it's so deep in Tysel territory. You know, I was thinking about this last week because we had Oil City here last week. And uh, in 1952 or three, I was sitting up in the grandstands, Oil City game, and my mother and dad and uh, – uh, my grandparent Bodemers were there, and some family from World City were sitting in front of us. We had a little scat back at that time by the name of Donnie Bird. And my Uncle Joe was playing with Don. He was in the backfield, and they kicked off to Donnie Bird at the five at the north end. He went 95 yards for a touchdown. Huh. And mother was there, and my mother had a tendency to get just a hair excited. No. And she was beaten on the back of this. She knew the guy from World City. She's beaten on the back of this guy from World City. A long pass for Titusville. Got a flag. Got a flag down. It's incomplete. Anyway, she's beating on this guy's back, and he goes 95 yards while Titus was offside in the kickoff. And the guy in Moral City turned around, and I don't know what he said, of course, to my mother, because I was 12 years old at the time. And they had to kick over. They kicked it to Donnie Bird at the five-yard line. Guess where he went? 95 yards. And that was, the, that was probably the most, one of the most memorable plays I saw here at Carter Field, to back-to-back 95-yard run by Donnie. He ended up going to Michigan State, by the way. I think one of my favorite broadcast moments uh, from us was about four years ago, the Todd Brown pass to uh, Brady Corklin yeah, for the winning City. touchdown against Grove City. Yeah. And just the ex to see this entire stadium just stand up and just erupt in, in well, applause. Well, every Titusville fan and, and player and former player was really happy that night except <laughs> one. <laughs> and Coach Sam Mowry was, uh, as soon as that ball was in the air and he looked back and saw that his corner had played up and not back, you could see his head drop because he knew what was going to happen. His only hope then was for Brady to drop it because if he caught it, was nobody was going to catch him. First down and 10 at the 26 for the Rockets. 111 left to go in the half. Trips to the right side. Rolling right is Knapp. Looking, looking. Got a man real deep. And he's going to overthrow into the uh, stands. And incomplete. Flag down. Ah, there is. Roughing the passer. I did not see that. I followed the ball. So that will bring up uh, a penalty. Uh, it's uh, <clears throat> Warren. You, know, you don't want to be helping Titusville. You, you, you've got them down. You're up by 18. The last thing you want to do, particularly with a minute to go, in the first half is, is keep their drives going with 15 yard penalties. Takes it out to the 41 of Titusville with 104 to go. Yeah, you, you're right. And uh, you get a connection to Nap to um, Malave, well, or I mean, you get the As we said, it's starting to get a little slick. A guy falls in the secondary. Koval in motion to the left. Nap looking to throw. Going to throw deep and he overthrows. Nicholson over here at the uh, 50 yard line. Brandon Johnson, is incomplete. Brandon Johnson, excuse me, was the intended receiver. One minute left to go here in the uh, first half of play. 25-7. Um, last, for the what, eight minutes, seven minutes of the ball game has been very critical for uh, Titusville. Well, uh, but out of those seven, eight minutes, it's really only been about 90 seconds that yeah, it cost us big. That's right. That's exactly right. Strips left, single right for the Rockets. 60 seconds left in the first half. Knapp looking to throw. Going to go deep. He's got Malave running down the steep side. It's intercepted. Picked off over there by Warren. That's Fiscus coming up across, and he's brought down at about the 46-yard uh, line of Warren. So Warren picks it off. Donovan Fiscus is a 
senior for Warren Dragons, and he gets the interception. Well, here I think he's just going to he doesn't really look before he throws it. He just kind of turns his head and throws it. He's covered. Malavi is covered there nicely. Uh, if anything, throw that thing out of bounds and give yourself another shot. But, uh, again, you're down 18. You've got 49 seconds to go. But, uh, again, here defensively, if you make a mistake, you're just giving them another touchdown here. You've got to be real careful now with uh, Titusville defensively. See, they got Swanson coming over here to the wide left. See, See who the quarterback see, is. See, and their throwers. Yeah, they're, they're, they're both of them is back there. They're, those are two quarterbacks in the backfield. Nick Benucci trips to the right side. Can't blame him at all. Good snap. Panucci dropping the throw. Looking over the middle. The pass is incomplete. Independent for, uh, I believe, uh, our line. Jack Long was able to get a little bit of pressure on Panucci and dropped him uh, just as he released the ball, causing that ball to go high. Uh, again, uh, Titusville here, you know, they're going to throw the ball again. Uh, Warren's going to try to get this thing to the end zone in the last 44 seconds here. See what the Warren Dragons come up with. Panucci stays in at quarterback. Fiscus goes wide to the right along with our line. I don't think they know the play clock. And Swanson coming to the left. Yeah, they're down to two seconds. Hey, that was late. Fumble yeah, and uh, we have start. false start. Yeah. <clears throat> that or delay game. Well, Bill, you found out anyway the official on this side has the flag. Yes, he does. Second down and 15 yards again. Second and 15 now with uh, 43 seconds. And you know who that official is? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Randy Burroughs. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. First, he's done a game here in Tyson this year, I think. Second down, 15. Warren leading 25-7. Swanson will come left. Fiscus and our line will go wide to the right. And they got a third man over there. Catches number here in a second. Pinucci, at quarterback. Actually, actually that's Duvalos. We've been told it was a nice shot on the quarterback. There's the pickoff if you can get there. Uh, sorry, but that was, uh, we've been told. Number 12 on our program is Nick Panucci, but we've been told that is Duvalos. Lucas Duvalos. Huh. That is now at quarterback. I have him at 34. We so. have him as 34, so to that family, not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. You know, if you're just not told things. <laughs> Ethan Wilson goes wide to the left, and the slot left will be the check to the right That's is Landon. Plasmore. And our line, the third over that side. Swanson by himself on the left side. Quarterback looking to throw. Screen. Throws up the screen to Swanson. Swanson across the 50. Well, that's a bad block. Across the 40. Oh. And down to about the Tonsil 37-yard line with 20 seconds left to go in the half. Warren quickly going to line up here and maybe uh, spike it. They have no timeouts left. And they roll the clock. And 25 seconds. So we're getting the play. Wow. Clock is running. Clock is running, and uh, they have no timeouts. Should have stopped at first, then go get your yeah. play. It's a snap. Looking to throw. Looking down the right side. It's going to pull Take down up. and run. Now he throws a nice little pitch back to Swanson. Out across the 25 to 20, and he's been knocked out of bounds. little shuffle pass last second, and uh, Swanson <laughs> takes it down inside the 20. Again, uh, you know, we, we've talked about this, the speed of play here for Titus. And again, all of a sudden, for some reason, it looks like they've decided to go back into that slow motion. We're standing around uh, waiting for people to come to us instead of going and getting them. Uh, again, now Warren, ball at the 13, has an excellent opportunity to put another touchdown on Titusville before the end of the half. 3.7 seconds. First and 10 from the Titusville, 13 for the Dragons. Yeah, they're going to have to go to the end zone here. Probably the last play of the half, but we'll see. Trips left side, single right. And whistle. Timeout. And Titus was going to take the timeout. The timeout, Rockets on field. So Titus will, uh, takes the timeout with 3.7 seconds left to go. Down 18 here to the Warren Dragons. Are you sending your backers, Dave? 
you know, yeah, I, I, for us right now in this situation, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing the every, house. I'm going man to man. Gonna, I'm also going to press them. I'm going to get yep. physical with the receivers. I'm not letting them really off the line because until the ball's in the air. Yeah. And then I'm trying to bring pressure on this kid and, and try, yeah. you know, make him, if he can throw the perfect pass, drop it in, and the kid can catch it, then good for you. You know, we're going to try to make it as difficult as yeah, possible. I'm, yeah, I'm bringing everybody not that's not covering time. the guy. Yeah, I would not give him time. I'd give him all day. <laughs> I'm a good host. I'll give him 3.7 seconds. <laughs> there you go, Bill. <laughs> With an incomplete I pass say at the end. He's there got a go. second and a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see what we do. Trips left, single right for the Dragons. 3.7 seconds. They're going to throw. They're rolling to his left. Got a man over the middle, and it is tip ball. Tip ball, no good, and the half will end. Halftime score, Warren Dragons 25, the Tazer Rockets 7. We'll be back with halftime activities, conversation right after these messages. Get expert home comfort and installation with Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning of Titusville. Now is a great time to schedule an appointment to have your furnace checked out before the colder days and nights ahead. It's also a great time to ask Vanderhoof about the Remy Halo, a patent-pending device designed to neutralize odors, air pollutants, smoke, mold bacteria, and viruses. Visit Vanderhoof online today to learn more or give them a call at 814-671-3226. Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning of Titusville. Whoever said, it's only a dog. Never loved a dog. Our philosophy is simple. We treat every dog as if it were our own. And believe us, we spoil our dogs. When dogs are comfortable, they're happy. The Barking Lot in Titusville is ready to make your dog happy by offering grooming services, daycare, and boarding. Call today to schedule an appointment, or better yet, stop in and discover a stranger, crazier, quirkier group of dog lovers at the Barking Lot in Titusville. Exceptional care. That is what our team of compassionate experts at Titusville Area Hospital Orthopedics will provide. Whether you're experiencing aches and pains or have suffered from significant injury, we are here for you. Board certified orthopedic surgeon Michael Dvorkin is highly experienced in treating all orthopedic and sports medicine conditions. No matter what the treatment may be, you can trust that we'll be here for you every step of the way helping you get back to the life you enjoy. Learn more about our exceptional orthopedic care at TitusvilleHospital.org. When it comes to your rehabilitation needs, you have a say in the kind of care you want to receive. At Anderson Physical Therapy, we are committed to your long-term health and well-being. We don't treat you like a patient, we treat you like a person. Discussing your injury or condition and working with you on a game plan to get you back to better health. So stay on top of your game with a friendly and knowledgeable therapist at Anderson Physical Therapy. Hey, welcome to the Anderson Physical Therapy, Dr. Timothy Brooks halftime show. We're gonna bring you the sights and sounds of the Titusville High School Marching Band here this evening. We'll return. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2020 Rocket Marching Band show, pictures.
Sounds of the Titusville High School Marching Band, the Rockets trail the Dragons 25 to seven. We're gonna take another time out. When we come back, we'll look at the first half stats here as our Anderson Physical Therapy, Dr. Timothy Brooks halftime show continues here from Carter Field. We'll be back right after this. Fall and football go hand in hand, just like yards and the products made by steel. At Titusville True Value, we offer a full selection of steel chainsaws, pole saws, leaf blowers, weed eaters, and hedge trimmers to prepare your yard for fun this fall. So get the full lineup of Steel's equipment so the chores are out of the way so you can go out to play. Steel, available now at your Titusville True Value. Behind every good project is your Titusville True Value. Pennsylvania Hardwoods, a worldwide supplier of high-quality logs and lumber, is a proud sponsor of the Titusville Rockets. Located along Titusville Road in Pleasantville, Pennsylvania Hardwoods purchases standing timber and logs and some of the world's highest quality hardwood, which is growing right in your backyard. For a free appraisal, call Pennsylvania Hardwoods at 814-590-6730. Best of luck to the Titusville Rockets from Pennsylvania Hardwoods. Since 1965, the Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home has been dedicated to serving Titusville and surrounding communities. Mr. Garrett believed in tradition and commitment to excellence, standards that are still held to this day. He also believed in community and making Titusville the best place to live, work, and play. When you need us, we will be there for you, providing a dignified service at fair prices. This has been our foundation for 55 years. The Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home, 303 North Washington Street, Titusville. Interstate Pipe and Supply means it when we say service means business. With a knowledgeable staff, full fleet of trucks, and large product offering, we can answer your questions and fill your orders, big job or small. Covering multiple applications and industries, we're not just a plumbing location, but a one-stop shop assisting homeowners and contractors quickly and efficiently. We are locally owned and make it our number one priority to keep our customers returning and happy. We have been a staple in the Titusville community for 40 plus years. Stop in today and let us service you. Good luck to the Titusville Rockets this year. And welcome back to the Anderson Physical Therapy, Dr. Timothy Brooks halftime show here at Carter Field. Rockets and the Dragons. Rockets trail the Dragons here uh, tonight. We're going to break down the first half of play with some uh, numbers. And we've got Steve and Dave and Bill as uh, uh, Jim uh, had to step away for a moment. Get some food is what yeah. he's doing. Uh, but uh, Dave, these are very unofficial <laughs> numbers. Well, I say that just because when I see both teams are five of 12 in passing, I go, um, okay. Uh, but no, I, really, it's um, just the big play plug again. You know, Tizel's giving up big play, and it, it doesn't start till the second quarter. Uh, but the fact that Warren's able to create 272 
and I don't have time for possession, but I think that's kind of one-sided towards Titusville. But we Warren just can't just do anything with one it. One play, touchdown, one play, touchdown. We've, we've just, again, shooting ourselves, shooting in, ourselves the in the foot. Yep. Um, you got to remember, on that rushing yard, 157 yards, that first touchdown run was yep. a good, what, 60, 70 yards? So, yeah. So, you know, it, it, it looks bad, and it's not good. I don't mean to, <laughs> to, to sugarcoat it. Now, but, where, where's this going? <laughs> but, well, the, it, but it, the thing is, the is, that, is that this statistically could be one of their better halves. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> not really, because no. I'm telling you, this hurts, buddy. I'm telling you. Um, and, and again, yeah. Well, I'll credit Warren coaches right here. Defensively, we were having success going off to the left. And now we, you see we had keep cutting that back up the middle. They've done a good job of, sh of shutting that off. So we've got to now come up with a counter for that. Um, and offensively, they found they that found we, a don't, weakness. we don't stay home very well if you change directions on us on a counter or reverse. And, uh, and you know. The thing that bothers me, I guess, if you remember the first two drives of the first half for Titusville, uh, offensively, our offensive line owned the line of scrimmage. Yeah. I mean, we weren't breaking anything, and this team's not built to break 40, 50 yard runs. They're built for five, yeah. three, five, pound. seven it's, yards. It's, yeah. That's the way this offense is. That's where your backs are. Uh, and we were doing that the first couple of drives. Since then, it's like we can't open up well, a hole. And I'll say also in the passing game, I think Warren has done a good job watching film and preparing to, to, against our short passing game. It hasn't been open. We've had a lot of trouble, and we rely on that quite a bit. And uh, so it's really going to come down to first adjustments and then executing those adjustments. Too. Well, and, and, and Titus, of course, they're going to give the ball away uh, to start the second half. Yeah. So Warren's going to gonna, get a stop right off. You're going to get a stop right off the bat. And perfectly, we talked about this: the turnover deals, uh, maybe a turnover quick early, so we could get some uh, good field position. But uh, again, that's just uh, you know, it's 25 to seven, and uh, the there they are. This week for the Rockets. Uh, yeah, the, uh, and, uh, and the turnovers, you know, just we can't pass the, the, the pass kind of hung up there on. He was covered, and then the fumble, unfortunately, this, you know, from behind. And it hasn't first. been as bad tonight as it has been, though. You know, last well, no, it's been five a, games. For the most part, it was a fun half to yeah, it was a yeah, fun half, watch, commentate. It's take, just a few plays. Take three plays out of that. And, then next and you know, you're going back to a one-touchdown yeah. ball game. Unfortunately, that's our Achilles heel. We give up big plays. We'll see how, see how, uh, how good they come back in the second half. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our uh, halftime show here. We're going to wrap up the Anderson Physical Therapy Dr. Timothy Brooks halftime show. Second half action is coming up next. Community Connect Federal Credit Union is here for you. In a world of uncertainty, isn't it nice to know some things haven't changed? Like Community Connect's commitment to their members and community. We are here to help you save, plan, invest, grow, and sometimes move forward into new opportunities or adventures. Community Connect FCU has many options available and becoming a member is pretty easy. Stop in, call, or visit our website at communityconnectfcu.com and click join to get started. Community Connect Federal Credit Union, 1050 East Spring Street, Titusville. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis? Hey, do they ever ask you what you're wearing? Uh, yeah. Red sweater, button-down shirt, like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Your Armstrong services are more important than ever. There are more and more connected devices in the home these days. To get the most out of your experience, you need a network that is always getting better. You deserve superior performance, and that's what Armstrong offers every day. Whether you're working from home, enjoying your favorite content together, or simply catching up while apart, count on Armstrong to keep you connected to what matters most. For 48 years, Oil Creek Plastics has provided quality, service, and integrity to their customers and community. Their talented and committed employees strive to deliver to their clients the best products that are American-made. In that spirit, our high school athletes show commitment to their school and community, excelling at every event. In these times of uncertainty, community comes together. Oil Creek Plastics is proud to support the Titusville Rockets and continue traditions that are made in the USA.
And welcome back to Carter Field, our coverage of Titusville Rocket football this season, made possible by these great sponsors, Anderson Physical Therapy, by the parking lot, by the Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home, by Interstate Pipe and Supply, by Armstrong, by Oil Creek Plastics, by Community Connect Federal Credit Union, by Dr. Timothy Brooks, by Pennsylvania Hardwoods, by State Farm Insurance, by True Value Hardware, by Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning, by the Meadville Medical Center, Titusville Area Hospital, by Larry's Auto Service, by Boonies, by the Colonial Machine Company, by Corky's Pizza, and by the Titusville Beverage. And we thank our sponsors for allowing us to uh, be here. Not just for uh, football, but for all the uh, fall sports we've been doing uh, this season. It's been quite busy, and uh, we couldn't do it without them. So if you get a chance, please uh, support those businesses uh, who support us. We uh, greatly appreciate it. Second half action, uh, moments away, the Rockets uh, trail the Warren Dragons 25-7 here tonight. Gentlemen, I use that term very loosely. (laughs) It's highly descriptive. (laughs) Well, if some... Yes. Just you know, it's nobody uh, that's talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working here. <laughs> I'll try to continue with this uh, headset. Unofficially so working here. Unofficially, yes. yes. <laughs> Just like his numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah unofficial. Everything's unofficial. Uh, I, I'll do my best here to speak with this microphone. It was used by has that New York accent. To, uh, just my, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Is that Tyler's why he wore it on the left side? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Titus is down here warming up to our right, and uh, Warren standing on the far side, leading by 18. So um, hey, we got to talk uh, after the game, anyways, because uh, <laughs> you prepping your dad's food for him is. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to get into that on me. That bring it up, didn't you? Now I'm all fired up. <laughs> you want to feel old? Well, if, you, if you can't get your own food, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> I, right then and there, I told my my wife, this is going to come back to bite us. It is. It is. <laughs> More what are you seeing down there, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, hey, what's the crowd like uh, tonight compared to last week? Uh, it's a uh, little less for the Titusville side and... Uh, a little more on the Warren side. <laughs> a little more on the Warren side. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the uh, cement bleachers over here are really nice. They're, they're uh, about three-quarters full. Yeah, actually a pretty decent crowd uh, considering everything that's been going on here the last, since March. Uh, Big difference from uh, week one. And by the way, we didn't bring this up, but uh, the reason uh, Warren yeah. has a one less game on their count is uh, because that first game was supposed to be with Titusville at Warren, and that didn't happen. So, Consequently, uh, one less. One less. Well, I'll tell you, you got a better fan turnout than we do in New York State. So Yeah, <laughs> yeah we even got football. No. Well, Titus are going to have to come out here and uh, reassert themselves as they did in that second uh, offensive possession in the first half and uh, try to get some momentum back. But they're getting beat by the big play, the counters, and the pass play, Steve. And uh, uh, we'll have to see whether or not Coach is making some some kind of an adjustment in the halftime in the locker room. But uh, they really got to come out right now because they've got to give the ball up to Warren to get this thing going. And Warren's going to have a chance to put 35 on the board. If they do, it's a fast clock, and there's very little chance of coming back. They not need yet. two scores. Uh, yeah, they, well, yeah, we're at 18. They're going to need two scores, yeah. but the, it's not. You know, it's not even that so much as uh, you, you've got to you've got to change momentum right now. Yep. Uh, this halftime really couldn't have come at a better time if you're Titusville. Uh, you know, you see a lot of times, particularly in basketball, coaches will use a timeout just to break momentum. Halftime came at the right time, but Titusville's got to capitalize and get a three and out here and then get a quick score. Well, I tell you what, I'd like to see here on this kickoff a return. No, I'd like to see them us kind of just drop this one around the third, 25 to 30 yard line, around the numbers, the way Warren is lined up here, um, and just see if we can overload some speed to one side and try to go get something. Real quick, I, I want to sorry, Jim. I want to thank uh, we got the crew here. Uh, and I want to thank you guys personally. Uh, Bill McCurl is down on the field with the wireless mic. Uh, Dave Bodemer doing stats tonight. Uh, of course, breaking down the plays uh, expertly. Done, uh, Steve Bodemer, uh, play by play, Jim. Uh, you've been the voice of the Rockets for a long time, and 
we greatly appreciate According to what some people were saying tonight, too long. <laughs> no, we'll get to that. Yeah. But uh, Adam Bodemer, uh, who just does a, uh, understands the game, can follow the ball well. Uh, Nolan Rio filling in tonight. I want to say hi to uh, uh, Mark Heim, who uh, is watching tonight, couldn't be here with us. And Gavin Griffin, who's been running camera with us this year, uh, yeah, couldn't be here Gavin. tonight. Yeah, we do. We miss yeah. Gavin. I uh, keep looking around for Gavin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you I, especially because he's, he's always right beside you. Yeah. Hey, Gavin, don't worry about it, buddy. I, I, I've been punished and kicked away for a week, too. So, <laughs> Nasco with the kickoff. It's going to be taken out to 10. Fumbled. Picked up at the 15. Come across 16. Breakdown. And goes across the 25. Look out. He's out across the 35 to 40. And brought down to 46-yard line. Should never have gotten that far. 88 had a real good shot at him down here. Well, and that's another reason why I, I sometimes like a little pooch kick. Yeah. Is well, and, and yeah, I understand the pooch kick and concept and all of that, but this is just, you know, he it bounces, he slips, he tackles, and, and we got guys there, 87, 88, and, and we just aren't tackling. This is the problem we've we've talked about with Titus over the whole time. First down, 10 Warren. They have it at their own 30, second 45-yard line. Uh, they got a little wing action going there. Going. Wing T. A little power. Pitch back to the tailback. Coming across, cuts across the 50, the 45. That's Pasmore and to the Titus 42 yard line. Oh, well, the uh, success they had running first half. I, 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 this, I like this wishbone just coming out in power and power until, you, you're until you stop us. Yep. Yep. You know? That's what you're going to see. Titus was going to have to figure out how to get this uh, and, and break this up because they're just that's what you're going to see this whole second half. And if I'm going to get 10, 12 yards of play on it, I'll never put the ball in the air. Duplo is the quarterback, we believe. We hope that's the correct name. We uh, have different numbers on our programs up here. They stay in the uh, wishbone. Under center, strong side right. Pitch back to the tailback is Swanson. Going off the right side across the 40, the 35, the 30. Down inside the 25, still driving. Clear down into the Titusville 20-yard line. Big game. Well, I don't think oh, Titus' defense five, was lined eight, up. Eight, I was just going to say, pay attention to right now how long it's taken us to even to get into up. position. Yeah, yeah. And, and then look at the, you can see, I mean, we don't we're have anybody there. Off. Now, we're going to kick off to the outside. He's 10 yards downfield. Look at the arms that we're reaching with. We've got to learn to get there, get set, get in position, and fight through some blocks here. And Warren now first on 10. They're at the Titus' 21-yard line. Under center. Long count. Pitch back to the tailback. Coming across the left side. Out across the 20. Cuts it upfield. It's Max. It's Pasmore. Down inside the 10 to about the 5. Michael Pasmore picks up about uh, 15 on the play. All right, we've we've got to get pursuit. We got to get we get we kick force them up, but there's just nobody there, and then we're overrunning the play, allowing them to block out and cutting back. And I'll give Warren credit. They're coming out here in this first drive. We're going to end this. Ready now. to go? Yeah, yeah. they're going to end it. Yeah, real quick here. Yeah, they've run the same play, just different directions. First down and goal from the five for the Dragons. Opening drive of the third quarter. Under center, pitch back. It comes to Pasmore, drives inside, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Micah Pasmore from five yards out puts another touchdown on the board. And that's a uh, big, big touchdown for the Dragons. 31-7 with the extra point coming. That didn't take very long. No, under two minutes. Well, you get 10 yards of uh, play, it's not going to. Yep, you nope. get up yardage. Warren now will attempt the extra point. Alex Ziegler will be the kicker. <laughs> Unusual position, standing back there quite a ways. Snap to kick his block. It's no good. So at 9.58, left to go in the third quarter. 31-7, Warren on top. Titusville will get their opportunity here for their first possession offensively of the second half. It is no good. Well, this is not the way you wanted this half to start. If you're Titusville, you wanted to, to try to get a quick stop and out. And uh, it began, you know, realistically, I'm telling you, uh, right off the kickoff. You, the ball bounces. 
Uh, the return man slips, fumbles, picks it up, and then returns it for 30, 35 yards. Uh, you got a question, where you know, where's your coverage team? And uh, then it just went downhill from there. I think they averaged probably over 10 yards a play oh, on yeah. that drive. So going back to receive, it'll be Nate Stearns <clears throat> to kick off, and he'll be standing back at about his 15. The Dragons have been uh, kicking short for the most part. Ziegler kicking off for the Dragons. And it's going to come to their left side and going to be taken by Stearns out at the 20. Comes up field, across the 20 and uh, 25, and gang tackled right about the 25-yard line. Boy, a lot of white shirts go through a lot of brown shirts. Well, yeah, I mean, give Warren credit. This is what we've talked about with Titus. You got to run down. Sometimes you got to run through somebody uh, and uh, to, to do your job. And it's right now Titus will uh, just is not doing anything uh, here. And uh, you know they're going to need a big play here or a solid drive to kind of spark anything going uh, for Titus. Yeah, the worst thing can happen right now is a turnover and or three and out. Uh, they got to get something going here. Doubles to the left for Titusville, wing right. Now they put Seth Brooks in motion to give it off to Baker, coming across the outside, calling, cuts it upfield, and across the 30 to about the 32 yard line. Good drive by, or good leg drive by Colin Baker. Good run. Play's going to come to the right side, and it's just this is what they've run. Titusville has run here. Gonna take a look on the Oil Creek Plastics replay. We're gonna bring a guard. Now he gets cut off because of penetration, but outside here, the tight end's gotta hit that linebacker, maintain that block. You gotta be able to hold that block. Nap to uh, Baker, and he's good hit stick. and stopped. Yeah, good job by uh, who is 25 that? there. 25, 25. that's uh, Cody Vega. That's a good way to fill a hole. Covered nicely. Third Lost down and four. Lots of one. Oh, yes. Interesting to see what we do here because I'm guessing we're in four down territory. I would think at this particular point in the game. Last home game of the season, and uh, Brooks comes to the slot right. Olave left with Colville moving now, and two men in motion. Somebody's got a set. Yeah, there's a flag. Yeah, that's a legal procedure. And the pass is incomplete, but it'll be five against Titus. So actually, there'll be probably no penalty. They'll probably decline, take it down. Well, if I'm Warren's coach, I would consider taking this and making it third and nine, figuring on Titus will taking it, uh, going for it on this, on fourth and four. I'm saying they'll say no. Well, I think, I think they probably will, but I might be tempted to take it. That's only because they already it. did. I said that. <laughs> well, they're expecting a punt here. Warren is. And I think that's why he declined it. And they're going to punt. Yeah, our punter's coming in now. So it's a fourth down and four as um, the Dragons send the man deep. And he'll be standing back about his own 35 yard line. Caleb Sofer will be doing the punting for Titusville. Ben White back deep for the Dragons. Number 12, Caleb Sofer to kick for the Rockets. Ben White standing deep. High snap. Good punt. And it's going to hit at the 45. Rolls away. Good job. There we go. And now good we job. got him. And he dropped him right at the 45. A little bit of effort that time by the Rocket recovery team. First six. down and 10, Warren at their own 45. Six brown shirts in on that play. That's what we want to, we want to see more of. Tell you, the last couple of weeks, our punting game, our punts are, have been real nice. They've been because hang time to them. Um, it was some distance. He's done a nice job these under last couple pressure. weeks. And he's been under uh, some duress, that's for sure. First down and 10, Warren at their own 45, leading 31-7. Well, did you stay with the wishbone? and? Uh, oh, yeah. That's, sure. uh, tell you tell you proved to me you can stop it. I'd be back in it. And they are. In the first place coming this yeah. side, coming to the near side would be what I'd do. They had good success to the left. First and 10. Gonna throw pass, it. pass, look out. He's got a man by himself, and it is incomplete. He Back overthrows. To I, I don't understand that. Well, I think if, if, you've got, if you want to throw the ball a little bit tonight, now's the time you're going to do it. 
you have to feel comfortable in the fact that you can run the ball with some success and everything, and maybe you want to do it if you know you put on some more scores. You don't want to throw then. So we'd like to thank our I can our, understand that. our replay sponsor, Oil Creek Plastics, for providing us the instant replay. Uh, I'm just referring to the fact that I was gaining 10 plus yards on a run play well, last that, drive. Yeah, but I think they know they can go to that right now. Oh, and and that snap, fumble, fumble, and uh, believe third down. They have it. I'm surprised there wasn't a whistle on a. Uh, but no, if you know you're getting 10 yards a carry, you still got second, third down, maybe fourth down. Yeah, but now see, you, you, but this is what this is my take on it. Uh, I first down and threw a pass, second down, didn't get much. Now I fumbled this snap. I'm about third and third and 13. Uh, and even though you've completed a couple of passes, I would not necessarily call their passing game effective. And you're only up 24, so. To boot. No, they don't need to boot yet. It's only third <laughs> down. But hopefully we'll get to a boot. Quickly up to the line of scrimmage. Warren, third down, 13. Timeout. Timeout? Yep. Clock was running down, and uh, Warren has timeout to take a timeout. Timeout on the field. It's 31 7. Uh, Warren has taken control of this ball game late in the second quarter and uh, first drive in the third quarter. Bill McCurls is down on the field. The wireless mic brought to you by Boonies. Uh, Bill, uh, about seven, well, about six o'clock, it felt nice out there with the sun, but as it went down, it got cold fast. Uh, well, that's expected this time of year around this area, I'll tell you. Well, it's cold, Bill, but you're not walking around in white grass. There's no, no snow. No, and you know, Jim, I'm looking at the sideline to sideline here, I'm going to miss this hump in the middle of the field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we talk about that quite often. It did have a bit of a grade to it. Oh, boy, I'll tell you. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, a lot of nostalgia here. Uh, like I say, I have said before, I used to play baseball in this field before these stands were put in on this side, and or on either side for that matter. I had the grandstand. 7.32 to go, third quarter. It's a third down 13. Ball with the Warren 42. Warren's going to pitch back, coming straight up across the middle. It's Ed, uh, Swanson goes to the outside, 45. He's at the 40 and knocked out of bounds somewhere around the 35, 30 yard line of Titusville. Big chunk of yardage and a flag on the play. I think we got a late hit. Oh no, we got an unsportsmanlike like on Warren, it looks like. That's going to be on the ball carrier. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Got a late flag. We'll see. Uh, what the official unsportsmanlike against Warren, so got to move him back. Probably a dead ball, so it'll be from the last. Uh, well, it's going to be. If it's yeah. dead ball, it'll be from the spot. It's yeah, from the spot. The spot. But here's what, and here's one of my complaints here uh, with football. Okay, you're going to mark this. If it's a dead ball, it should be first and 10 from that spot, but 15 <laughs> yards back, back, but they yeah. won't do that. They'll no, mark the 15 <laughs> off and then give them first and 10. Yeah. Yep. Well, they'll be short here over first down. No, I I would agree though. It's uh, yeah, it doesn't really make sense when you've, you've the play's over. So now you got a third. got a result there. Yeah. Right. You know. Yep. Yep. Now they're giving them first down. And well, now they're going to get first spot. down from there. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's uh, that doesn't make any sense. There's no penalty. Yardage, but uh, pitch back to Swanson and goes across the right side and they get knocked out of bounds at about the 40. Pick up about seven on the play or so. You know, I, I just, <clears throat> I'm watching Titus, well, now, just, now they're body language. Uh, we're walking back to the huddle, we're just kind of standing around. Uh, very lifeless like right now for Titusville. That's just not a good sign. I saw that beginning in the uh, middle of the second quarter. I was noticing that too, Steve. Under center, Warren with the ball. Pitch back. Three. Cutting up the middle is Pazmore. Across the 30 and into the about 28-yard line. Now they're going to spot it right around the 30-yard line. Looked like Caleb Brunst and Hunter Titus in on the tackle. And again, this is this wishbone power running game, and he's just, they're kicking one guy out. Now you, they're just, we're over penetrating up at the front. Seth Brooks is coming up from the defensive back position, but he's over penetrated. The, the fullback in that wishbone set looked at him and 
I don't even need to block you. You've taken yourself out of the play. Here we go again. Driving straight ahead, and he's out to the 25. Yeah, good rule of thumb for your D lineman is we call it heel line. Don't get any deeper than the heels of the offensive lineman. That's sort of, you know, and then find the ball. Um, and that's the problem. That, you know, they, that way it may help you not overshoot a play. Well, we've seen this a lot from Titus with either their defensive ends or, or, or anybody coming up. They take themselves right out of the play because they're three yards past the line of scrimmage. Second down and five for the Dragons. Pitch back to Pazmore, breaks one tackle, and uh, gets down, and a flag comes in at the 20-yard line. That almost had to be a face mask area, I would think. Face mask, or they've got a hold from something. I'm not too sure what it's called. Warren's moving back. No, I think like he's going to walk it off against Titus, well, but it like is it. a face mask. That How was that flight throw this week compared to last week? Uh, he attended camp. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if it's a, the same guy. I just, a few, uh, no, I don't, I don't think it is. As a matter no, of fact, it's a different guy. But, <laughs> yeah. but uh, it's he, not. He worked out this week. <laughs> they've, they've done a nice job. Those flags have landed just about where the penalty's at, not 15 yards away, where we have to pick it up and hush it another five yards. And one guy threw it three times to get it to the spot. First and ten from the ten. Pitch back. Coming across the five and hit there and dropped at the five yard line. The ball carrier was uh, Nyquist. Oh, now he got another play. Nathan uh, Stearns. I ben didn't like that, but you get off your block. Yeah. That, that's the solution. Get get off your block. Don't do something after the whistle. And I think this one's on Titus. Oh, this one will be a two-yard penalty, being half the distance, but we got to get off our blocks. Well, this is one of the things, and, in, 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 uh, you know, it, We've talked about this. I know I've talked about this a lot with Adam uh, at home after football games and whatnot. When you start seeing these type of penalties uh, being dished out. Um, frustration setting frustration in. Frustration setting yeah. in. But you know what, fellas? They're the ones that are kicking your butt. You're going to have to step up and, and, and kick their back or be man enough to take it. First and goal from the three for the Dragons. On the snap, going straight ahead and in for the touchdown. Right off the left side, they're running off that big tackle on that side. That would be Alan McAllister. Well, he's, you know, they told us he was their best offensive lineman to get down in the goal line. That's who you're going to follow. Again, this one, this is the, the love handoff to the fullback. There he is, the up back, and he's just going to follow it right in. And, and he, you're right, he does a nice job of just pushing everything down to the inside. 37-7 here in the third quarter. Two scores. And they're going to go for two here. <coughs> Again, out of the wishbone. Oh, oh, movement, 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 movement. And so they'll bring it back five. That's number 35 for Warren Sam That's Harvey. We, He's a freshman. We try to tell him, okay, you fell forward. Just kind of slide, you know, your motion right now. Going motion, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep your feet moving. Just slide to son, the left. You're like right out there. You're going to be seen, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> not many not many officials that, will give you that one. No, they're, they catch on. So it'll bring up another attempt here for the uh, extra point. See what Warren will come up with. 519 left here in the third, and it's 37-7. Boy, Adam, you're wrong in your prediction today. You said that, uh, <laughs> wasn't you at breakfast that said something? No. I, in the pass well, play I, over the middle, and I, it is good for two points. Wow. 39-7 with 519 to go here in the third quarter. And uh, that opens her up big time. <clears throat> You're getting to the point, Steve, um, where uh, as an athlete here for Titusville, thinking, okay, how much more do I have to go yet this year? I mean, you've taken your lumps all year long. and uh, Well, yeah, you, get, you have, but at the same token, you've helped other people do it to you. Um, you know, you've, you've hurt yourself. You've put yourself in bad positions. Um, for the number 62, Alex yeah, Ziggler. so part of the blame's lies squarely on your shoulders, you know, 
when you have six trips into the red zone and don't get a, any scores out of them, that's, you know, that hurts. Uh, you know, here tonight we had one trip into the red zone. We scored a touchdown on it, but, you know, we've been giving up big play after big play. Now, these last two drives have been just that for Warren. They've been drives. Yeah, they've done uh, a good job. They've, yeah, they've stay, stepped up, and they've, they've taken control of the line of scrimmage. Kickoff's going to come down the right side once again, and it will go out of bounds, so Taz will have it to 35. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you can take nothing away from the Dragons as they come out this second half with a whole different set offensive series. Well, they, ever since and, the second quarter, they've pretty much yeah. taken over this, this football game. And, and Titus will really, to, to, to be honest with you, Titus has done nothing to try to stem the tide or turn the tide at all. Doubles to the left, single to the right in the wing. Ball's given off to uh, Baker, and he's going to be brought down in the backfield. Loss of about Ball two in the play. Well, oh, there's no Baker. question. You have to make adjustments, and uh, 15, Warren Schaefer. has done a great job of doing that right from uh, about the second quarter. So, well, yeah, it, it, there's a lot of things you got to look at when you're looking at this football team, and I know you want. You, I right. don't want to open up a horn's nest, but you, you, you just got to. I, I, I put it where it's due. I'm sorry. Brings up a second down and 12 for Titusville. They'll send two to the left. Put a man in the wing right. In motion, Nicholson. Nap, option. Kicks it back. Comes up across the 40. And uh, out to about the 46-yard line. Nice option. Boy, that takes me back. I remember having to run that play a lot. Nate Stern through the ball here. Yeah. I mean, uh, that was special. Yeah. Well, and that was the mainstay of our offense. I mean, it was... Uh, you know, back there with triple option, you read the uh, the tackle, typically the tackle back then, five-man front, and uh, either give it to the fullback, keep it, then you read the defensive end, to whether the quarterback keeps it or you pitch it. So, Titus will third down and very short. Got to get this punched in there, and it goes to uh, tailback, and Push, he John. just got it, if any. Just made it across. One of the things I've noticed here pretty much all year, Dave, is if you watch uh, when our running backs come through the line of scrimmage and they get tackled, you'll see it here. He's, you've got to get a little bit lower. It seems the tacklers are always underneath our pads. Yeah, you do want to win that battle, getting your pads lower. And, and uh, uh, you know, the, the best running backs always end up falling forward. You know, yeah. you pick up another yard that right. way and such. And uh, We're not yeah, getting it's, forward it's, much. It's some, uh, some techniques. First down and 10, Titus Hill. It's at their own 45-yard line. Koval in motion. Pitch back to Koval. Koval's not going to get anywhere. No. They blew That's up in their jail face. <coughs> Jailbreak there. They, uh, they just, uh, and, and, and again, you look at this, I'm thinking, is, is it a blocking thing? Or is it just, it's a very slow developing play. And, and Warren is adjusting and attacking upfield. Well, they did a nice job of their assignments right there. Yeah, they did. They're they, reading the it option's going to take go. some time to develop mm -hmm. and stuff. And they're, they're there on the quarterback or they're on the pitch man. But again, we talked about speed of play here. And again, that's, that's Warren playing a step faster than what Titus has been playing. Yes, they are. Alex Ziegler, Ziegler is not a big boy. He's at 5'7", 185. Uh-oh. out. Hold yeah, on to it. Yeah. He got and that's just sending more men than we can cut, than we yeah. can block. That's yeah. a, a read the Good quarterback place. has to make and get rid of the ball. Cody Vega was the uh, blitzer on that particular play, and that brought the ball back to the Tyson 30, 30. And that's a whole bunch of yardage for Titusville. I can't do one and three and get five. I'm certainly not going to try to add this up. Let me uh, see. Mr. Ronto will tell me to take the logarithm. I see this would be this. Yeah. Three here's point. The, and uh, and I, uh, I here's a <laughs> here's the thing we used to do there back in the day, and you might remember this day back in the day. There's two types of calculators. One of them was called reverse polar notation. We used to call it, that was Blair Ontil's way. You, you put a number in and gave it a function, and then you had to enter. There was no equals key. And I can remember sitting in, in, in Mr. Ontil's class learning how to run these things because they were, they work different than standard calculators. You punch in a bunch of numbers and a function, and then you hit enter, and this thing would kind of figure well, the whole thing and out. And we can go you. back a little further, Luke, when I had I know they had abacus. <laughs> And you know, uh, we bought a computer for a computer. It uh, uh, looks like a computer. Uh, calculator for Ellie this year. Yeah. She's only in seventh grade. 
and apparently it's the wrong one. It doesn't do so one thing that it's supposed to do that they need. I'm like, with all these buttons and symbols, and how can it miss one thing, you know? And the sad reality is they said about 68% of American students have a hard time with math, and the other 55% you know, do okay, so... So all in all, yeah, I mean, it's a walk. We only have to worry about the 30%. Hand off to Brooks. Turn Seth up. turns the other way, and he's not going to get anything. Maybe a couple yards on the play. Bring up a fourth down in a bundle. And I'm sure Titus will uh, go ahead and gamble on this one as they send in the punter. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Spot, pretty good spot on, spot on, yeah. <laughs> it's like it paid big bucks to do. <laughs> you think Al Michaels makes all that money for nothing? Neither does Bodemer. <laughs> and I have to work with these idiots. I don't even have Collingsworth. <laughs> Fourth down, and Titus will. will Attempt to kick it away. Nope. There's five yards. I don't know whether we moved I'm or now he's going to give it. I thought our, one, I one of our linemen kind of buckled forward a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, Mr. they're going to give us uh, offsides against Warren. Well, maybe we can get four more, though. I was going to say, if we get four more, <laughs> we had a first down. Bill, do you want to come up here and uh, we'll send Steve down there? <laughs> uh, come on down. Anybody can come on down. Come on down. All right, fourth down and only 19 now. We're going to blitz this kicker. Nope. Low snap. Yeah, it gets kicked off. It hits at the 45, the 40, Good 35, roll. and keep rolling to the 30-yard line. Whoa, what's that? Well, now, see, that's, that's a, playing to the whistle. Out of bounds, about 20, 10 yards. <laughs> wow. Not if you're out. <laughs> I don't know. When I saw him, they were out. But if he made contact in the field of play, that's He drove him thing. out. He drove him to the – if, you know, well, that's what I'm saying. If he's inbounds and I, makes contact, okay, I got yeah, no problem with that. If he's out of bounds, that was really close. Bill, you better move back down there about 10 yards. You're a little close to the play there. <laughs> no, I'm good. The ambulance people are over there on the far side. By the time they get to you, it would be. Somehow I'm going to get into one of these plays this year. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have uh, 124 to go in the third, 39-7. Warren comes out again in a wishbone. <laughs> Power, pitch back, back cuts out across the 35 to the 40, picks up about nine on the play, and that would be Nyquist. Carried by number 22, Tom Nyquist. Uh, Seth Brooks. Seth, yeah, I want to say here, Seth Brooks is doing a, a nice job of taking on two or three blockers, uh, and that, all his job is to take these guys out of the play, and then somebody else is going to have to come up and fill. Well, and got, he's really they're coming his way a lot, and uh, he's taking that on all night. Second down and one for the Dragons. Pitch back. Comes to Swanson. Spins across the 45 to the 47. I don't know whether Swanson's this good a ball carrier or we're making him look really good, but he is, uh, has some big holes, size to holes in front. I was going to say, but holes. he makes a secondary miss. Uh, but he likes that spin. Pretty good speed. Yeah, we have, you know, if you get into that second level and you're not being touched, you get a chance to, to, to put some speed on. Uh, you're hitting that. I would expect him to win most of those battles. Uh, he looks at a little that bigger. second level. He looks a little bigger than uh, what they have him. I have him at 5'9", 175, but he looks a little slow. Oh. Up in his motion. Warren has uh, a little problem with discipline there on the line. Cost him five yards. But, yeah, uh, James Swanson is uh, just, I don't know, he just looks a little bigger than 175, but uh, pretty well put together for 175, I think. Well, and let's face it, right now it appears that he, at least he is in, in – Maybe the others are just a little bit faster than what we've got speed-wise. Oh, yeah. So you give them, uh, give them an opening, and they're going to be hard to bring down. Everybody's been faster than us this year. Pitch back to Nyquist. Nyquist cuts it up nicely, breaks the tackle, breaks to the outside. He's across the 50, 49, 45, and down to the 44. That was a good run by Nyquist. We should have had him back there about 10 yards and just still make the tackle. Same old, same old. Yeah, it's been the, the Achilles heel of Titus's defense all year long, the inability to tackle, uh, and it just continues on. In the three, 39-7 Warren will be back, fourth quarter action. Pennsylvania Hardwoods, a worldwide supplier of high-quality logs.
Proud sponsor of the Titusville Rockets. Located along Titusville Road in Pleasantville, Pennsylvania Hardwoods purchases standing timber and logs and some of the world's highest quality hardwood, which is growing right in your backyard. For a free appraisal, call Pennsylvania Hardwoods at 814-590-6730. Best of luck to the Titusville Rockets from Pennsylvania Hardwoods. Since 1965, the Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home has been dedicated to serving Titusville and surrounding communities. Mr. Garrett believed in tradition and commitment to excellence, standards that are still held to this day. He also believed in community and making Titusville the best place to live, work, and play. When you need us, we will be there for you, providing a dignified service at fair prices. This has been our foundation for 55 years. The Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home, 303 North Washington Street, Titusville. And we're set to go here, fourth quarter. Warren with the ball, second down and one at the top for 44. Pitch back. Running back out across the 40 to about the 35, let's check that 37, 38 yard line. That would be Borger. Alex, Alex Borger, 170 pound senior. Enough for the first down at the top for 40 yard line. But the only thing positive right now that I can think of is we haven't been uh, mercy ruled. Well, I, 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 and I know that sounds stupid. Well, but, but in, you know, not necessarily just, when, you, when you've been mercy ruled four of your five games. Yeah. <clears throat> and they're moving the ball. Warren is really moving the ball. They're, they're chewing up clock, clock right now. now. That's what they're standing around for. Sure. Running clock. There's movement. Pitch back to Nyquist. Nyquist cuts it up. This young Nyquist is running well. He well, picks up, uh, but he's a freshman. Well, he's a new running back. They've got some new people in there, too. Well, and, you know, uh, Nyquist, Nyquist is a new running back. Uh, got some new linemen up there. They've got some new linemen up front there. You know, it's not like they still have all their starting. They've got a few in, but, uh, you know, with today, you don't know whether there's injuries or whatnot to take a look at, but they've got some new cleaner jerseys out there. Titus will just isn't stepping up to the challenge. They've got a lot of seconds in there right now. Pitch back. Boger out across the 30, 25, cuts it back 20, 15, 10, and knocked out of bounds somewhere on the five. Unbelievable. Ball's carried by number six, Alex Borger. Tackle made by number Borger two picks up a bundle, and uh, it'll be first and goal for Dragon first down. the uh, Dragons. And they're just going to go to the left side here. And this is a kind I mean, we play it well initially. We're there, but where's the, bat? Where's the flow? There's nobody coming from the inside out. We're slow getting there. We're out of position coming up to make tackles because we're taking bad angles and not breaking down. First down and goal from the five. Pitch back, coming to the right side. It's Nyquist trying to get to the outside. He does and he gets driven out of bounds. Not quite to the goal line. Boy, we did a nice job of stretching that out. I thought maybe he was going to catch the end and be able to turn that up at the end, but Titus does a nice job of stringing him out of bounds. Ball's down to the one-yard line, second and goal from the one. Dragon will have second down and goal, ball spot at the one-yard line. Ten twenty-one left to go in the ball game. The Dragons threatening now with a second and goal from the one. Again, um, many second unit players all the way across the board for Warren. Pitch back to Nyquist, cuts it up and in for the end zone for the touchdown. Again, a little bit of overrunning the play and allowing a cutback lane. And, uh, and you know, we've, we've done this a lot, just not able to bring people down. We're just not in position or we just can't catch them. Here it comes to the left. You can see we open up that cutback lane, and we're just reading. Look at all the arms that are reaching uh, that you just you just can't do that. Oil Creek Plastics uh, tonight, as always, doing a nice job of providing us with the instant replay. I'm interested in the uh, run-up this kicker has. Very unusual high snap, and uh, now we're going to have to bail out, and nothing's going to happen there as that uh, extra point attempt would be no good. 
45-7 with 10-16 uh, to go here in the ball game. Well, now it goes. Now it'll go fast. Yeah, when they kick off, now that clock won't stop. So it's going to be a continuous clock here for the last 10-16. So I take back what I just said. And we're 4-5. or five. Yeah. Uh, And again, you know, it's uh, a combination of things. You know, uh, Oil City uh, is a very good football team. Uh, in our region. Yeah. Cash was a good football team in our region. Meadville's a good football team. Uh, Warren has shown me that they're a little better than I thought they would be coming into this yeah, game. Me they, too. They've got me a too. little bit... Uh, I thought they're quicker than I expected Quicker them to be. than I thought, and their big guys are, are move a line. little better than I thought. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, you know, Titus was just, you know, just out of luck in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, when you've got to run as fast as you can run to try to cut them off, it's hard to stop a cutback, and it's just been that kind of a year for Titus. Nate Stearns will be standing back at uh, the about the 15 as we get set to go. High kick. You've got to play this, and they're waiting for it to go out of bounds. It does. So the Rockets will have uh, 35. If there is um, one strong weakness to the Warren team it would be the kicking game as I see it right now but uh, well it's the only thing they show weakness against us tonight it yeah and to be honest with you, the only thing we've seen really is the kickoff have some scores for you Cambridge Springs Lakeview tied at 15 in the third and fourth uh, this is a good one cash uh, leading Meadville 22 21 oh that'd be a good ball game Northeast and Corey tied at 28. Farrell beating Greenville 24 0. Fort LaBeouf uh, beating Gerard 49 7 in the fourth. Uh, Sharon trailing Grove City 14 7. Harbor Creek uh, shutting out McLean 35 0 in the fourth. Wow. Maplewood trailing Northwestern 13 12. We'll bring you more in just a minute. Nicholson takes it across to the 45. Check that. It's uh, uh, Stearns, Nate Stearns. Picks up about five in the play. I was a little surprised at the Maplewood score. When did you say it was? Maplewood trailing Northwestern 13 to 12. See, I expected Northwestern would um, pretty much dominate that game. West Middlesex uh, beating Mercer 28 nothing. Oil City leads Franklin in the third, 59 nothing. Sagertown uh, 14, Cockrington 8 in the fourth. Wilmington uh, beating Sharpsville here in the third, 36 to 14. And uh, Union City uh, leading Iroquois in the fourth, 26 20. Knapp gives the ball off the first man driving straight ahead, and he'll pick up about six and then catch the number. Jack Elon is the uh, carrier. Brings up a uh, third and about, uh, call it two. <laughs> Jack's got a cramp in that one leg and that calf. Yeah, I saw him running off earlier in the game, uh, kind of hobbling off a little bit, and uh, figured it was probably a cramp. And it's cool, kind of a cool night to getting cramps. I never had enough muscle in my legs to get a cramp. So. I'm not saying anything. Chicken legs, they call me. That reminds me of the picture I saw of you one time. Oh, don't give me that. <laughs> The there, is a, there is a picture, and it's probably, I, I can't remember the year, of you playing basketball, and uh, the picture was uh, of you, you're palming two basketballs out to your side. You, you want to look like a, a, a sickly tree with a, a trunk and two, two sickly limbs. You never could palm a ball. That was your problem. <laughs> I had it with both hands. Two different worlds, it was called. <laughs> I don't, I don't have to put it. I'm, this, I'm not doing another game this year here. <laughs> <laughs> I had it. This is my last game yeah. at Carterfield with Trash. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Uh, partially done it. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, if you're listening, scratch their names off that inheritance list, would you please? <laughs> That's right. Next week he'll Lynn, be adding them. <laughs> Lynn and Doug are looking good. Don't right forget now. tomorrow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, second down and seven. Just be hushed. <laughs> As your Aunt Diana would say, be hushed. Second down and seven. Titusville down 45-7. Just not the way I really expected this game to go, be truthful with you. Brock Calvo trying to get to the outside. Nice block. Good on. 
Clawville out across the 30. Oh, yeah, and fumble. fumble the ball. And Warren has it at their own They may not. They may not. We no, got down so. there. No. That we did come it. out of it. Son of a gun. Good run by Caldwell. Excellent block by Jack Galan down there. And uh, the if we look at that again, that's, that's a highlight for me to see that block. But uh, it's a highlight for me to see anything. First down and 10 Warren at their own 25 on the turnover. Hey, Warren now with a timeout. <coughs> Uh, make sure they got the right numbers that they want in there. Forty-five. I didn't think Warner put forty-five up on Titusville tonight. Well, we, you know, talking coming into this ball game throughout the week, we talked about it, and, and uh, I really thought, you know, there was two games on the schedule. We looked at the schedule the preseason that I thought were going to be competitive ball games for Titusville. One was Franklin. This was the other one, and of course, Franklin was a little bit tighter score-wise. Uh, especially when you consider the fact you gave you gave it, gave it away him. six, seven times in that ball game tonight. Titusville has two turnovers, now a third, now and uh, but we just haven't been able to stop uh, Warren's big plays, uh, and, and that's what's really been been killing Titusville tonight, as as it's done all year. Warren has played much stronger against Titusville than Franklin did. Oh yeah, so yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't see a whole lot of the Franklin game. I was. You didn't see a whole lot of the first three games. I didn't see much of the first three games, no. you got suspended. You kept your mouth shut. You went and got suspended. I keep trying to tell you, but you don't listen. I'm sorry, Ollie. He wasn't suspended. He went to reform sports broadcasting. Sports broadcasting. He probably went to the wrong school because all he talks about is the referees throwing flags. That's the next class I'll have to take. First down and 10 Warren at the Warren 30 on the turnover. Pitch back to the tailback. Nyquist gets to the outside. Kip to the there outside, you go. Yeah, nice job. Now, see, that's, that's, nice that's very well played. Now, I, I understand well, the situation here, but that's technique-wise, that's how that's got to be played. Yeah. He does a nice job. He plays outside. Now, there's a good fill position Austin right here, and I, I missed the young man's number, 11. but he stays to the outside, helmets across, hit, wrap, drive your feet. Second down 11, loss of one on the play. Warren with a double tight end offense with the wishbone. Pitch back to the tailback, going to the outside, and he's going to be hit and brought down in the backfield, and that would be a sense, Ethan Ball, Sense. Number 14, Ethan it's like sense. Brooks on, this, on the tackle. For tight number three, well. Seth Brooks, and number 64, Lodge Nosco on a tackle for the Rockets. Brings up a third and 17. Loss of six on the play. Bring up a third and 17. Six-minute mark. Ball's at the uh, Warren 23-yard line now. The drive started back uh, at their own 30. If, consequently, third and 17. Looking to throw over the middle. Oh, nice intercepted. Picked up by Taz. Look, this the outside, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds at the flat side. Braden Johnson with the pick. Well, there's two things here. Johnson does a nice job in, in sitting on the route, reads the quarterback's eyes, and he's going to jump it. You can see him in his back pedal, but he does a nice job of breaking on the ball. Uh, that's a really nice play by that young man. The second thing is, uh, why in the world are you putting the ball in the air? Yeah. Uh, that's, you know, with 5.42 to go, and you're up, what is it, 38 points? Uh, I, I just don't agree with that call. Did you figure that with reverse polar notation? Yes. That's very good. Yeah, you put in 45, and then you hit the function key, and then you put 7, and then you hit enter, and it'll give you the difference. First down and 10, Titusville. Oh, my goodness. Double's right. Ball's handed off to the first man through. It is uh, Baker, and he drives down close to the five-yard line. What he's not telling you is uh, Greg Houck's a math teacher and is standing right next to him, so <laughs> he's been feeding him those numbers. Tackle made by number 51, Damian Sanchez. Well, I'd like to see, I, I really would here, uh, because we've seen we Baker tonight in one of his better ball line. games here. Uh, I'd like to see Push him get a chance to, to, to take it into the pay dirt. Five minutes left to go in the ball game. 45-7. I'll get a power formation in there with uh, Jackie Lawn in the uh, fullback position. 
Handoff is to Baker. He drives inside the five to about the three. Ball's carried by number 20, Colin Baker. Bring up a third down. Tackle made by number 36, Jared Peterson for the Deck Dragons. Bets. Second down and four from the four. Bring up a second down and goal from the four. Patterson will stay with the power formation. Power eye, got doubles to the right. Hand it off to Elon. He drives straight ahead and he's in for the score. So Jack Elon takes it in for the uh, Rockets. Uh, second touchdown of the game, 45 13. And Titus Rule will probably go to two. Nope, yep, they're going to kick, which I would also. I would too, yeah. Yep. <coughs> it is just straight ahead here, and Elon takes the handoff and it just kind of follows a lane that opens up right up into the end zone. Extra point attempt by Mr. Bromley. Kicks the ball well. Just hadn't had much opportunity this year. There's a snap, placement, kick is up, and the kick. Good. They gone left. Oh. It did. Hooked it to the left. We got the distance by a whole lot, but uh, well, I thought it was good. I think that was Dave's windshield. Oh, great. Uh, Don't worry, call Jake. He'll come in and fix it. <laughs> 45-13 as we get down to the last 4.15 of the game. What are you wearing, Jake? <laughs> Khakis. <laughs> so do you want a side kick here? Uh, me? I don't know. I kick the thing away. Yeah. I don't, I don't uh, try to onside kick it. We'll see. The shadow, up, huh? the, yeah, shadow the shadow knows. The shadow knows. I see you've got your decorations all out. Uh, yeah, the end of August. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas will be up in a couple weeks, Jim. <laughs> we do holidays hard. so You do. Well, I'll tell you, you, you Halloween you do very hard. You get, I know both. Yeah, both. Nice. Both. Yeah, Christmas is nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you do. Do you do that or does Amy do that? Come on now, Luke. We are a happily married couple who do everything <laughs> together. <laughs> oh, Amy. I'll... Wait a minute. Did you? Where's that uh, book? Did you open that up to what page to make it? 73. Wow. <laughs> wow. Page 73 in the marriage handbook. Yeah. We are a happily married couple, <laughs> and we do everything together. That's not so bad. To them this morning, he was, he was really nice to his wife. He was talking about split ends and haircuts today. I don't notice that stuff. <laughs> I don't have that stuff. Warren with a kickoff out across the 30, knocked out of bounds about the 33-yard line. <laughs> well, I just thought it was just wonderful. The, uh, if you want a, a great entertainment from 6 to 9 in the morning, my friends, just tune in to the morning drill with Luke and Amy Rio. <clears throat> and uh, you can learn about split ends and you can ask and You can ask them here, about marriage how, problems. Though. Well, here's how bad it was this morning. He asked his wife if her hair was colored. He didn't know whether or not she had colored The camera hair. should roll after <laughs> we're off <laughs> during a commercial break. <laughs> oh, what a show it was this morning. I couldn't believe that my producer was talking about split ends. Well, that's one thing if you're talking football. Well, it wasn't the split end that we're talking about. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are getting deeper and deeper in trouble. <laughs> well, Lucas, first and 10, Warren at their own 37, pitch back to the tailback. Coming across the right side, it's Nyquist out across the 40. Flag down. And he and through it and yeah. makes the tackle. Nice talk, tackle by Malave. Mr. Burroughs threw that flag well. Flag I believe it wraps up uh, homecoming week. A lot of businesses downtown uh, decorated. and. Uh, right, congratulations to Miss Titus, yeah, his, uh, homecoming Titus. queen. She was quite surprised, I saw, that on the replay this morning. Glad this evening. Yeah, glad that uh, they were able to do something <laughs> this year. Yeah. It's been quite a year. Uh, we've said this uh, once, we've said it a hundred times, but uh, our thanks to the school district, Mr. Salvo especially, for um, all his help in putting things together. It has to be an awful thing trying to make well, decisions with it, all yeah, this going on. Yeah, not just on. Scott, Mrs. Keebler, the entire board. Yeah. Uh, back in June, they 
<laughs> like, let's start talking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, they've been uh, extremely helpful through this whole process. Pitch back. Tailback is going to get hit and wrapped up and knocked down. That would be uh, nice Sins. play by Brooks. Brooks. What's that, Bill? Nice play by Brooks that time. Yeah, he's uh, been doing a good job of stringing things out over there on his side. Hey, what about next week, Luke? Uh, Titusville added Maplewood to the uh, schedule. So Titusville will play at Maplewood uh, next Friday. How's Maplewood? How's that game going? It was a tight ball game. It was brewing there. Can anybody tell me how long it's been since we played Maplewood or the old Townville team? No. Um, Still, uh, a couple of years ago we played them, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Hmm. 13-12 Northwestern over Still Maplewood. same score. That's not a final, is it? It doesn't say fi- I <laughs> it doesn't say anything, so I'm it's guessing. It's 13-12, huh? Uh, how about this? Meadville up on cash, 27-22, 15 seconds left. What, no description on down distance where the <laughs> ball's at? Who who has the ball? What kind of reporting is this? Jeez. Probably Mr. Uh, Simmons will <coughs> lose again. Well, D- yeah, Dave has probably. his fancy uh, app for keeping track of stats tonight. Yeah, Liz. but they're not official. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> he made that very clear to us at halftime. <laughs> We appreciate it, Dave. You're welcome. Second down, 23 for Warren at their own 24. Giving off to the first man, driving straight ahead. He's wrapped up and dropped back. Bring up a third down. 315 left to go in the ball game. A lot of clean white shirts, although they all are pretty clean, but there's a whole new unit in there for the Warren Dragons. Well, you remember back the last time we had a big ball game with Warren was like we've talked about here, 2006. And uh, this field was in uh, mud. It just, I mean, inside the hashes, 20 to 20, just just mud. And uh, after the first play you were in, you got tackled, your, your numbers You're disappeared, both numbers. Uh, you know, white jerseys, brown jerseys made no difference. You couldn't tell who was who. It was a fun ball game. <laughs> the way it should be. Nyquist, nice cutback. Brings it out across the 35 to about the 37. Yeah. Look at the little freshman running back. Yeah, you know, years ago we were playing uh, on a field like that as well. And uh, got away with a completed pass to a lineman. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of our bench. If the lineman caught the ball, ran a few yards, got tackled, got up and turned and looked at us, we said, shut up and get in the huddle. <laughs> <laughs> like they can't read your number. It's okay. <laughs> You guys are getting me in trouble now. Uh, Joe, Joe Koval says, sounds like Luke needs to go to broadcast or reform school. We love Amy and her decorations. Thanks, right thanks, on, thanks, thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Right on. Good punt. First punt by Warren, taken by Titus Joe with one knee down, and he's hitting, dropped real quick. Benet Stearns. But, now, uh, you know, just to put a final punch on this, you see how that coverage guy comes down. You see what he does, and that's what we've talked about with Titusville. We're slowing down before we run through him, run through him, run through him. First down and 10, Titusville. They'll have it at their own 36-yard line with time running out. 152 left in the ball game. Uh, did not mean to get you into trouble there, Luke, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. As you smile. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm yeah, laughing, actually. Not, yeah. hey, no, he's not apologizing for it. But. Hey, uh, big thanks to uh, uh, Bill McCrillis, uh, Dave Bodmer, Adam Bodmer, Nolan Rio. Outside this whole night, it is cold. Yes, it is. So I'm sure as soon as we get to the post-game show, some folks will be running I back s- inside. No one come up here at halftime. His hands were red. First down, Titusville. It comes to... Stearns cuts it out across the 40, 35, and is knocked out of bounds at the 30. Enough for the check that to 45 to the 50 yard line. Enough for the first down. Made by number 80, Garrett Waters. Rocket first down, lost four. Nate Stearns picks up about 15 on the run. More players being shuttled in and out by the Dragon. Well, see, now Joe just lost credibility. There's always a great broadcast by all of the st- uh, Stream TV crew, so. And we know that there's... <laughs> and Amy said that? <laughs> yeah. Doubles left for Titusville. To Baker. Baker runs into his own lineman and going nowhere now. 
Lost maybe one in the play, maybe uh, no game. Titus will take some time out. 52 seconds left to go in the ball game. Coach wants to uh, continue to work. He's, well, we're just trying to uh, enjoy the grass a little while longer. Yeah. Is, yes, what, we are. is what the goal is. So it's just really enjoy hard, the grass uh, a little longer. Yeah. It's really hard to believe that uh, the grass is going to be replaced. With well, this whole place is going to get shifted folks. a little bit too. Well, the first two rows of the bleachers, or the bleachers, the uh, grandstands will be taken out, and the east side of the um, stadium, the west side of the stadium, excuse me, is going to be brought up a little higher. So uh, the whole field's coming up about two feet, as I understand. Hey, Dave, it. you haven't seen anything yet. Your dad brought chains. He plans on chaining himself to the press box tonight. <laughs> And it's only going to take the bulldozers to <laughs> remove that's what it, them. That's what it took to get me off the screen. Are we going to be expected to stay with him and support him? No. <laughs> no. He, doesn't, he doesn't even want you to bring him I mean, dinner. I forgot my chains. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I have an extra pair of days. <laughs> yeah, I've been down here playing baseball, softball. Ran track down here. Fell several times over there in the track. So did Steve. Going deep. Going deep. You got a man uh, coming back to the ball, and it goes incomplete. Now, when you were jumping, though, let's make this clear. That was sawdust, correct? That was sawdust, yes. Hey, well, it, sawdust. it was sawdust for him. We had sawdust in the long and triple jump, but it, by that time we had uh, uh, foam rubber pads that we had. We were high jumping on. For you. For, for you. me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but we were jumping off of asphalt. But you guys were doing right. the Fox very flop. We were still doing the old Western roll. Many I didn't times. realize it was called a Western roll. I just. It was a roll. It was, was a roll. Yeah. Yeah, it was Eastern a roll, roll and I Western just... roll, depending on what leg you led, led, okay. led with. Titus will over the middle, pass the complete to Stearns, and to the 25, and that's where the game will end. Well. Titus will have it at the 25, and. They'll have one more shot because they'll move the change and they'll start yeah. the clock. So Titus will. Look and spike. One this. shot. There you go. Better hurry. And they spike it with two seconds left. Want to try to get another shot to the end zone. Line the clock. It doesn't make any difference. You can't do yeah, that. You can't, can't do stop that. the yeah. clock. Yeah. You can't stop the clock. So. Cannot stop the clock. So the final score here at uh, Titus of Scudderfield, Warren Dragons 45, the Titus Rockets 13. We'll be back with a wrap up right after this. Yeah. Your Armstrong services are more important than ever. There are more and more connected devices in the home these days. To get the most out of your experience, you need a network that is always getting better. You deserve superior performance, and that's what Armstrong offers every day. Whether you're working from home, enjoying your favorite content together, or simply catching up while apart, count on Armstrong to keep you connected to what matters most. Hospital Partners, Meadville Medical Center and Titusville Area Hospital together provide a continuum of high quality care across Crawford County. Both create the ultimate patient experience. Every patient, every time. Meadville Medical Center and Titusville Area Hospital are more than a hospital. We are a hospital partner, a community partner, a family partner, and a health partner. Pennsylvania Hardwoods, a worldwide supplier of high-quality logs and lumber, is a proud sponsor of the Titusville Rockets. Located along Titusville Road in Pleasantville, Pennsylvania Hardwoods purchases standing timber and logs and some of the world's highest quality hardwood, which is growing right in your backyard. For a free appraisal, call Pennsylvania Hardwoods at 814-590-6730. Best of luck to the Titusville Rockets from Pennsylvania Hardwoods. Get expert home comfort and installation with Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning of Titusville. Now is a great time to schedule an appointment to have your furnace checked out before the colder days and nights ahead. It's also a great time to ask Vanderhoof about the Remy Halo, a patent pending device designed to neutralize odors, air pollutants, smoke, mold bacteria, and viruses. Visit Vanderhoof online today to learn more or give them a call at 814-671-3226. Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning of Titusville. 
Whoever said, it's only a dog, never loved a dog. Our philosophy is simple. We treat every dog as if it were our own. And believe us, we spoil our dogs. When dogs are comfortable, they're happy. The Barking Lot in Titusville is ready to make your dog happy by offering grooming services, daycare, and boarding. Call today to schedule an appointment, or better yet, stop in and discover a stranger, crazier, quirkier group of dog lovers at the Barking Lot in Titusville. Well, welcome to the Corky's Pizza Titusville Beverage post-game show here from uh, Carter Field tonight as the uh, Rockets fall to the Dragons. Final here, 45-13. Gentlemen, uh, can you get your thoughts? We'll take our final time out, come back and bring you the uh, player of the game. Well, off the uh, top of my head, I'd say they outplayed us. Uh, we started out pretty well, had a good start in the first quarter, a couple second possession, good drive, and after that, uh, everything caved in on us and uh, yeah, Warren just put it to us. We did not play the kind of football that you have to play to win football games. Without a doubt. Uh, and again, you know, it's not like Titus didn't have a chance to do it. First two, drive, <clears throat> first two drives of the game were good drives. After that, uh, we just couldn't build any consistency uh, at all. And uh, tackling was abysmal. Uh, and it's, you know, it, it just got away from us real quick here in the second quarter. David, your thoughts? Yeah, basically the same thing. You yeah. know, it, it's, we, we came out like we were going to put it together a little bit tonight and stuff, but it uh, ended up not being that way. Just a typical year. <laughs> you know, it's uh, that's what Titusville did this year. They shot themselves in the foot quite a bit, and uh, once they get something going, no go. Final score, 45-13. The Warren Dragons over the top for Rockets as uh, the Warren comes in and uh, put together a good game plan and uh, work the game plan and come out of here with a uh, win. They go to 2-3 and three in the year. Titus will 0-5 on the year so far with Maplewood uh, coming up next week. That game will be at Maplewood. Uh, I, I, this gets me like every year just watching these guys and uh, what it's got to be like to, to take that final walk <laughs> up and down the field. Adam, I'm sure you remember just like yesterday. I like talking to Adam because he can't respond. <laughs> so <laughs> I wait for Adam to say something, but there's nothing there. He's I was just, just looking uh, for a head nod or something. Like, yeah, well, it's, just, a, it's just another look at the, at the, at the last time you're going to see grass, gentlemen. Yeah, that, that, that too. At least here anyway. So, yeah. uh, Yep, last final game at Titus Carter Carterfield. Next year, we'll have the turf, and that's going to be uh, something for us to uh, look forward to. Different perspective, too, will be on the other, other side. Other side of the field, yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to take our final time out. We'll come back and bring you the uh, player of the game and wrap things up here from uh, Carter Field. This is the Corky's Pizza Titusville Beverage postgame show. We'll be back right after this. When it comes to your rehabilitation needs, you have a say in the kind of care you want to receive. At Anderson Physical Therapy, we are committed to your long-term health and well-being. We don't treat you like a patient, we treat you like a person, discussing your injury or condition and working with you on a game plan to get you back to better health. So stay on top of your game with a friendly and knowledgeable therapist at Anderson Physical Therapy. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis? Hey, do they ever ask you what you're wearing? Uh, yeah. Red sweater, button-down shirt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Community Connect Federal Credit Union is here for you. In a world of uncertainty, isn't it nice to know some things haven't changed? Like Community Connect's commitment to their members and community. We are here to help you save, plan, invest, grow, and sometimes move forward into new opportunities or adventures. Community Connect FCU has many options available and becoming a member is pretty easy. Stop in, call, or visit our website at communityconnectfcu.com and click join to get started. Community Connect Federal Credit Union, 1050 East Spring Street, Titusville.
Interstate Pipe and Supply means it when we say service means business. With a knowledgeable staff, full fleet of trucks, and large product offering, we can answer your questions and fill your orders, big job or small. Covering multiple applications and industries, we're not just a plumbing location, but a one-stop shop assisting homeowners and contractors quickly and efficiently. We are locally owned and make it our number one priority to keep our customers returning and happy. We have been a staple in the Titusville community for 40 plus years. Stop in today and let us service you. Good luck to the Titusville Rockets this year. Fall and football go hand in hand, just like yards and the products made by steel. At Titusville True Value, we offer a full selection of steel chainsaws, pole saws, leaf blowers, weed eaters, and hedge trimmers to prepare your yard for fun this fall. So get the full lineup of Steel's equipment so the chores are out of the way so you can go out to play. Steel, available now at your Titusville True Value. Behind every good project is your Titusville True Value. And welcome back to the Corky's Pizza Titusville Beverage postgame show here from uh, Carter Field. The final of the Dragons over the uh, the Rockets here tonight. Final thoughts, player of the game? Well, we uh, we we talked uh, about different players here this evening uh, coming out here, but we really thought that Colin Baker had uh, the probably the better of the games for the Titusville Rockets. Uh, uh, first part of the game, especially, uh, I don't know why he had. Uh, David, did you have any stats on him personally? or uh, not, indivi- not, individual. not individual. I didn't have his individual numbers. But, we thought he went well, pretty we'll well. We'll get a better app. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, we were talking up here. We just thought Colin Baker had probably the better ball game this evening for the Rockets. Uh, well, and he, and he really he played one of his finest games of the year as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Uh, all around, but uh, especially from the running back position. So, uh, we just kind of uh, – I guess decided that uh, Colin Baker would be our player of the game. For the last one at Carter Field with grass. Well, I mentioned that <laughs> emotions for a high here times. tonight <laughs> across the board. So uh, thank you for joining us here tonight for the Warren uh, audience. Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, for the Titusville audience, thank you. Uh, Titusville at uh, Maplewood next week. Yeah. We'll, yep. we'll get that uh, figured out. So I'm not sure what the schedule is going to be like, but we'll – We'll get we'll everything figured out. out this week. So, um, Just watch on Facebook, and uh, you'll know what's happening that way. I don't even know where to start. Our entire crew here tonight, a big thanks. Uh, Bill McCurl is down on the field with the wireless mic. Uh, Dave Bodemer doing stats. Steve Bodemer uh, breaking down the plays. Jim Bodemer play-by-play. Adam Bodemer running camera. Nolan Rio on camera as well. I'm Luke Rio. Thank you so much for joining us here. Final game here at Carter Field for the season. Our coverage of Titusville Rocket Football brought to you by Anderson Physical Therapy, by the Barking Lot, by the Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home, by Interstate Pipe and Supply, by Armstrong, by Oil Creek Plastics, by Community Connect Federal Credit Union, by Dr. Timothy Brooks, by Pennsylvania Hardwoods, by State Farm Insurance, by True Value Hardware, by Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning, by the Meadville Medical Center, Titusville Area Hospital, by Larry's Auto Service, by Boonies, by the Colonial Machine Company, by Corky's Pizza, and by the Titusville Beverage.